Hello, welcome to another episode of SDS. Now the international break is over, which means the Premier League roundup is back. Okay, so I'm actually really excited because it was a good week of Premier League football um, on the return to club football. Um, I actually have a pretty interesting cast today, a very fun cast because we have two people here who are about to go on a reality show, so we're going to lose them for two weeks. Um, and you guys can watch them, and we're going to talk about it in a second. And we have a return of someone who obviously is an OG of the show. So, before we get in to the first game of the Premier League Roundup, first thing I want to say is, if you guys are listening to the audio, check us out on YouTube, SDS on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, and you know what, halfway through you want to switch over to the audio, because you're, you're going on a drive or something, links are all in the description <coughs> on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, everything you want to listen to us, it's all on there. So please head over to those platforms. If you listen on Spotify, give us a rating, five star rating would be nice, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so first thing I said was, we got two people going to rally show, so we've got Star Player next to me to my right, and we've got Fawizzi. <laughs> Welcome boys. <laughs> We'll talk about the reality show in a second. Shake his hand, shake his hand. Big boy players, man. Shake his hand. Oh, yes. You Big guys are lifting, you guys are lifting up for two yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. I've been here for two weeks, and, man. Uh, Damn. And obviously, we have uh, a return of a familiar face. Oh, if you are. he's Mr. Yeah. Tomato Face. <laughs> Sugar he's Shield. back. Sugar Short is back. get me already. Chelsea fan, obviously, if you guys Duh. don't know, Chelsea are a hot mess. They have been a hot mess for the last 18 months, so yeah. they definitely needed some representation. Sean hasn't been on for a while. There's a bit of controversy last year, mm -hmm. but um, since then we've had a lot of conversations, yeah. and you know, we felt like now was the time to get you back. Yeah. So welcome back, man. Thank you, man. How's yeah, things man. been? No, it's been good, man. I just wanted to say, like, obviously, like a load of misunderstandings that happened on online and stuff like that. But obviously, we spoke about it, and I apologize already for what I said. Obviously, got taken out of context a bit, but yeah, just good to be back. You know, we've had some good conversations. We've yes, been sir. planning this, so yeah. New I, season, baby. New season, baby. But like, I'm supposed to be like. Sitting there because like I'm the guest. So today, yeah, you've been sit on the the guest seat. It's a heavy. <laughs> it's a heavy table. The, table <laughs> heavy. the field tilt. The field tilt. Hey. And, uh, go there, so I have to swap. I have to swap because statistically, yeah. hey. now you're right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Statistically, yeah, it's the heaviest. <laughs> the heavyweight table, table, fam. It's heavy. bad as well. You need a chair it's for facial, and that's it. It's, uh, it's, we're we're ready. Mental. But um, <laughs> but on the facial cast. Yeah, yeah. The facial. But you know, Sean was meant to sit there, but he came in wearing all white. And obviously white. he is white himself, so yeah, it's too he white, looked man. a bit too like you know too pale. Shiny. Yeah, so, so, we to, so if you, so so I wear black next time. We're, bla don't we're blaming the the lighting situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that, what, is that what we're really gonna you're do? Versatile. Is that what maybe we're maybe next time you've been a vice? <laughs> captain. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next time you've been a vice captain. No, no. I was meant to be vice captain. You went from second to fourth. Then this guy was crying. It's mad. I wanted to I wanted to see. I'm kind of locked in. They need to see my face. Everybody needs to see my face. Me and Sharky wanted to see the Dudley brothers, man. Oh yeah, Dudley brothers. Uh, but, um, Say no more, Rikishi's talking, yeah? <laughs> Rikishi's talking. Oh, oh man. All right, oh. But listen, um, we're going to get into the Premier League round. Right? This is the show where we talk about all 10 games of the weekend. But really, really briefly, uh, Foot Asylum, who you guys know is a big friend, a big channel that is, I'm very mostly, rare, mostly, rarely, what the hell, I feature on quite a lot and I have featured on quite a lot, does a reality show uh, called Locked In. Mm. This, I'm not getting paid to promote, but I'm promoting them because both my boys are going on. Uh, Locked In is a show for two weeks where you go on a reality show, you get filmed, you have no phone, no contact, no contact outside the world, which means you know no football results, nothing i've been on season one Elias has been on season three it's now season four which means stars and fuzzy are both going into the house uh, i think next week it starts so i'm not gonna have them on SES for two weeks they're not gonna know the football results for two weeks no, i assume he's gonna text me i don't know how text you how you haven't got a phone i don't know how he's gonna do it but he's gonna tell me yeah if you're in or not for <laughs> but, <laughs> but but yeah we'll, you know, we'll, we'll send the burden yeah. we'll you know this is the only time guys i think this last year obviously we've checked we've changed it we've upgraded the whole lot usually i will get a text the, the night before mm. This time, Rashaki gave me the drop maybe two weeks in advance. That you're be on this. Of course, because yeah. I knew you guys, I'm one yeah. of, you guys have been gone for two weeks. I needed to get you guys in the last possible opportunity. But yeah, you guys, they're going to reality show on Foot Asylum. Well, guys, we'll update you guys on SDS how they're doing, if they're doing well, if they're doing bad. Um, and you guys feel free to watch them and give them some support from the SDS. Yeah, make sure you vote for me food, man. We need to stay in there. Yeah, we, yeah. Need, the, we need the winner from we need SDS. A winner here. We need imagine, a winner from SDS. Imagine, imagine one of us come with the W in SDS. That would be a dream. Come back. I'll cry. I'll cry. That'll be a dream. But should we get into the football, guys? Facts. Let's should we get into the football. First game mm. we're going to talk about is the key feature of the weekend. Um, <sighs> Stanford Bridge. Stanford Bridge, not yeah. Anfield. Yeah, Stanford Bridge. <laughs> that derby's done now. Nah, man. it's a real yeah. derby. They beat you once since 2011. I showed you the video of where the stadium is. 
Yeah, but they're moving it's, as well now. They've yeah, they're moving, but it's not that far. Stadium it's, a, nice. it's a park, isn't it? It's a park. Who yeah. only just found out that the two stadiums are really close? To no, the I knew they were close, but I haven't. I didn't. I didn't know you that you can see. <laughs> <Is> that <close? laughs> I didn't know you could see, yeah. bro. I'm standing in a park. I'm seeing Anfield. I'm seeing Goodison Park. I said I couldn't believe this. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah. who was at the Liverpool game? Everyone was at but, a game by me. But yeah, everyone at the table went to go see uh, their team. But apparently, you was at the game though. I joke. Yeah, yeah right, you always lie about going to games. But the key feature is Chelsea versus Arsenal. I was there. Sean was there, so obviously, and obviously you watched it on TV. So I have three different viewpoints <laughs> of the game. So we're going to talk about what's funny. What? He's a sofa fan, fam. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with that? I think I'm the last. He gets, com- he gets commentary, all that stuff. Sometimes it's better to watch hey, it. Man. Sofa school, sofa school stars. But it is what it is. Hey, man. But that game was a big game. Um, obviously, London derby, two Damn. biggest London clubs, um, and it ended up in a two-two draw. You know, mm-hmm. for the neutral, it was a very entertaining game because there was. Four goals, there was a penalty, there was mistakes, there was uh, goalkeeper errors. And obviously being goalkeeper yourself, I want to hear your takes on some of these goals that went in. <laughs> Big um, level, man. There was crosses that ended up being in go- like being goals. Like, there's so much to talk about in this game, okay? Uh, but the game did finish 2-2. Everyone knows what happened. Um, what do you think about the game, first of all? I want to hear from a Chelsea fan because you guys are 2-0 up. So how did it feel being 2-0 up at home against probably one of the favourites to win the league, yeah. which is good for you guys to win that kind of game. It will be a massive push mm. because you guys beat us once and won, went on to win the league after that with Conte. Mm. So this could have been your starting point to like, you know, yeah. go. With, so how does that feel to bottle that? Would you say it was a bottle? I, I don't know. Well, say it's two I, I, I don't find it like, that's the thing. Like obviously a lot of fans refer to it as the bottle, but it's just kind of like the mistake kind of put us into, into the situation within like a four or five minute spell. It happens in football. Like once you give someone a chance, the next three, four, five minutes after that, we all know it's like, it's massively important. And we just, f- I just felt so in control at that stage. Like I didn't feel pressured. There's times when we've been under the cosh against Arsenal in the past, over the past year. Like it was chalk and cheese from end of the season last year. We weren't playing for nothing. But when we came to your ground, we got popped mm-hmm. when you was doing the hosting actually. I think yeah, I was day. there. Pitch I was there as yeah. well, Fuzzy. <laughs> what, what, were you, were you there? I was there. Oh, you were there as well. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. But like, um, yeah, like that, that game I was there, in the borough. <laughs> yeah, he lives in the borough. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was in the borough. <laughs> but now, nah, yeah, like it was just the fact that the the game was chalk and cheese in terms of intensity levels, and I've always been hammering on about that. Like, if teams ain't intense in general, they're never gonna do well in games. Yeah, and I feel like we started off well with that, and I think as much as Conor Gallagher's like come into this new role, as I like him, you know. He's doing the role. Yeah, he's doing like, well, he's third, he's third choice. Like, yeah, he's, right he's now, just he's giving skipper. it to anybody. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But like, nah, but he's doing a skipper role, but. I feel like defensively, like in the first couple of ge- in the first half and stuff like that, like Conor Gallagher and Cole Palmer played like a four four two in terms of when we were defending. Mm-hmm. So whenever Ulot was on the ball, obviously Arsenal liked to play through the middle and like to pick up the ball. Obviously Jorginho was starting that day, yep. so that's a key part of his game. So I feel like we nullified that well, and I just like throughout the whole game, it just felt comfortable for us. We were able to create chances. It was wet though, innit? Like the ball was, was holding up. Well, that, I've, I've heard, you're not the only person I, that's moaned about this. I was watching it. I was like, bro, my, my players are trying to make a through ball and the ball's slowing it's down. Slowing what down, what yeah, kind yeah. of pitch do you guys have? So is that what stopped Saka from no, beating no, a gorilla? Both, I mean, we both played in that pitch. You guys played in that pitch as well, but clearly you guys know how to deal with that better. Because I was yeah. like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, I've, I've been so, like, it's been painful, like, but I've, I've, I had to, I was so desperate for a win. I'm like, Sharks has been digging yeah, at my yeah. Chelsea boys for so long now and I'm like oh, I can't wait to the come penny. back Let's talk I about just it, yeah. need to go the first goal of the penny yeah. mm. was that harsh on Saliba there's hand all run out it's uh, too much very money. very very harsh mm. but if it went the other way I'm screaming for you a pen, love it, 10 yeah. out of 10 times like the it's connect, weird, even, I don't get the like, contact the, the connection was like, bro it was it's the rules now yeah, isn't it it's different but it's like <laughs> blank, no, no, it's, 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 I feel like they need to specify that the two different f- rules of it like if yeah. it's going goal bound or becoming dangerous in that play like yeah. where it's either setting someone or going goal bound then that's where like yeah. it, it's, it's causing something yeah. but obviously like you said at such a close range he ain't really got nothing to do about mm. that it's natural I don't really like them pens but in the rules of today it's a pen in it even so. John Terry tweeted out saying as a defender I would hate to have conceded a pen. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like you would have lost how many pens? Yeah, how many it. pens would you have conceded? It was like, I'm happy it happened on this day. Of course, yeah. and that makes sense. It. Then you guys got a penalty. It's mm. a little bit of a scuffle between Sterling and Cole Palmer for the pen. Who's your penalty? Yeah, like, Palmer. Who's I didn't even actually now? notice that, you know, but like, yeah. I, I didn't know. I didn't day, but I saw clips after. Yeah, like, I think Sterling, Sterling has taken pens in the past and Cole Palmer's obviously wanted to step up and take it. Like, obviously, he probably thought that he won it, so he thought, you know what? I think I he took one last week as well against Burnley, right? Yeah, yeah, he's taken one of those. Yeah, so yeah. like maybe maybe Cole Palmer's the, the new star boy at the club. You know what I mean? Like I I, I really like Cole. He's looking good. Oh yeah. what? I call him Baby Duff. 
You said I don't really like Cole. No, no I said I, I really like, like Cole. Oh, I thought you said I don't really like yeah, Cole. I, said, I call him Baby Duff. Where does he rank in Cole's in Chelsea history? In Cole's in Chelsea. Well, Ashley, dude, Joe, Joe, Carlton. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> where does he rank? That's a crazy list. I think he finishes third. Where does he rank? He's oh, definitely better than Carlton Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where does he rank? Yes, we've had quite a few Coles. Yeah, uh, yeah. because that was the first goal. 1-0, cool, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Great. You guys... Literally looked like you were comfortable in the first half. I feel like you had like a good 25 minute spell though. Like I think we were good for first 10 to 15. And yeah. then after that, you lot were good for 25 minutes. We weren't minutes. creating anything. Yeah, not creative. We but weren't having chances. Like you God. were getting in them areas. Do yeah. you know what I mean? No, we were, we were, we were. But like I said, the pitch, man. Yeah. Pitch was tough. Foo, I want to ask you what you think about this. Mudrick's goal, yeah? Because I feel like you're the kind of person, knowing you, if you scored that, yeah. you'll be like, I meant it. 100%, I meant it. 100%, 100%. So did he mean it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm giving it to him. Well, that would have done the same thing. But he did a Bellingham celebration, Mudrick. I would have done like he meant that. He did this. Look what he was He's going through. He's getting too used to scoring. Look what he was going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what type of anxiety, stress, everything. He was going through all of that. You have to do this. Yeah. I'm the man. <laughs> you didn't even mean it though. No, no, because you know he's. No, I should have celebrated that because my team, we scored. A goal is a goal. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. I get you it. don't care. I he get scored the goal's goal and he scored against Arsenal as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a big deal. Uh, the heavy And 2 0, he probably thought, you know what, we got the three points. I scored the winner. And if Ars- if Chelsea did get the three points, Sean can probably agree with me on this because he's a Chelsea fan, mm. he would have forgotten about the past. Like in terms of all the fa- all the howlers he had. Mm. Do you get? Like all it takes is that one goal and everything's forgotten about and now you're the man. I actually but- like Modric though. Yeah. I don't mind him. He's a threat to opponents. I, feel I, mean, like yeah, he just needs, I just feel like he needed a run of games. Mm. Mm. Maybe. I don't really see I'm, I haven't really seen the 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 hype. Yet. Did you see his going for Ukraine in the in the, in the international? Well, they play no. who Macedonia or something. No, I know, but I mean just the style right. of the goal to cut inside from outside he's the box. He's got any of the. I can tell. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got, got potential league as well. Yeah, you like, can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the stuff in him, but yeah, yeah. sometimes you might be at the wrong club. Do you know what I mean? It yeah, might yeah, not work yeah. out, but hopefully it does work out for him. But mm. yeah, I'll claim it. I'll claim it as a goal. Yeah. More on the come on the Arsenal side. Um, obviously, there's there's a discussion to be had on Raya and Ramsdale still. That's still going. The discussions are still going. There's also a discussion on Saka's performance mm-hmm. with Kukurea defending him and how he got on. And also, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of tweets about Odegaard. And I know you had uh, something to say about Odegaard. Oh, <laughs> so wow. feel free, the stage is yours, man. What do you think about Odegaard this season, his performances? Is it lackluster? Uh, who's that? Hello, Port. Who's that? Yeah. What, Kim Kalstrom? Your captain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're calling him Kim Kalstrom? Kim Kalstrom. Nah. Kim Kalstrom. Kim uh, I'm, I'm, clock, you're I'm, right. not, I'm not having that. Man. Big games, Odegaard. He should have. That narrative. He should have featured no. in. You know Stormzy's song, Hide and Seek. He should have fe- featured <laughs> in. Nah, 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 <laughs> he bro. doesn't play well in big games. No, 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 no. I blame I'm, Arsenal fans. No, he started, no. not, I'm not saying me, we, me, but Arsenal fans started that narrative of big games. He's not that good. And now the rest of football fans have latched on it. And now it's our fault that our captain's getting dissed. That is a fake narrative. Bro, he, big he, games he came to the game too early. So where where, where, where have the big he, games did, performed then? How old is he now? Last season he was good in the big games. games. He got a brand new contract. He, popped too he was good against us to be fair. But are we, big yeah, are we season, a big team? Yeah, but Chelsea are no, but big, Chelsea yeah, always yeah, a big yeah, game yeah. no matter how good or bad nah, you guys nah, nah, are. Nah. Spurs last season he was class. Mm. You know, United he did well. Like he's always, he's, always, he's been good this season. I agree. He's not. That's my argument. This is agree. It's not based on last season. He's not been he's not been playing to his level. But also I think I think you got to cut him some slack as well. No. Because also, I, I think can't. the absence of Thomas Party I can't. is I'm a sorry, big, man. big factor on the way, the way he's playing. The main reason for me, yeah. Do you not I, think? No. Because, no. You don't, so no. you don't think the absence of Thomas Party, no, I think him not. and Party play so well together that I think the absence of him is what's affecting Odegaard's performance so much. For me, 100%. For me, it's not that. Okay, cool. Party adds a different game to, obviously opens this game a, up. Yeah, but because I can find a third player. But I didn't day, if I'm correct to say, yeah, go on. He's the highest paid player at Arsenal now. What's the money got to do with performance? I don't so get it. I for hate me, this narrative. Yeah, now, man. now you put. You, oh, he makes this much money. So he has to be the best. No, no, I'm going to be, gonna be with him for two weeks. This no, no, he's not no, no but it's legit though. <laughs> but, but it's legit though. All right, because, go on now. I'll let you make it. No, though. it's legit though because one last season. Yeah, obviously, yeah, we all know how good he was he last was class. season. He, Fifteen goals he, in the league. I think eight assists in the league, which is amazing. But obviously, he looked at it going, "Yeah, I need to add more goals." That's what we all asked. He did that last season. But now this season, I hear the fact, yeah, he's been playing decent, but it's certain games he's played that are decent. The, like, out of how many games? Nine games? I want to say like three out of the nine, you're like, it's Martin Odegaard. Your last six has been, the other six has been so Kim Karlstrom. So for me, it's, 
why, 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 does, why do I need to heavily depend yeah, one on game Jorginho? Is, one one when game is playing with Rice and Havertz. Next game playing with Jorginho and Rice. And, but is but the, it's the right hand side. The shape of the right hand side has still not changed. Yeah. He's still got Ben White. He's still got Saka. He's but, still. And it's but, but where he receives the ball changes depends on who's playing. But, but sometimes Nias he hides from the ball because Jorginho but, is playing but, sideways. Yeah. But then, but then, it's, bro, Jorginho is not some sort of scrub. No, Jorginho's not a scrub. Jorginho's not a scrub. I've never heard. I've never heard an attacker go. You know what? I can't play with Jorginho when he's so elite on the ball. Yeah, he's elite which, on the ball, but he's elite on the ball for the full backs and the closest midfielder to him. But then Thomas Partey is a different kind of midfielder who, who makes those diagonal passes and breaks those lines, which Jorginho then Odegaard can receive it in the final third and then get straight into... Jorginho has that in his Jorginho. game as well. But nah, the thing man, is... Not like when, party, when, not when, like, bro, when, bro, no, Okay, can I ask you guys a question then? So with rubbish. Odegaard, yeah, when he goes missing... Why does he put up two out of tens? Why does he put one out of tens? It's never. It's never a creative bit, player where yeah. he's, it's, 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 so you're so going to be the best where, player on the where pitch, is the creative? or you're not going to be involved. Where is the creative? It comes from a the whole team. Player. So where because is it? it comes from the whole team, but then that creative <laughs> am, player. Am, is, am I lying, Sean? I, I I I don't know about previous games, but in terms of certain games, you just have to look at it in in a team thing. Like you got to remember, it's tactics. Like we we went to we was at home and we played you lot to just nullify the midfield. Like we went there to say, you know what, Caicedo, Enzo, Gallagher is pressing up high. Like they're pressing, they were, they, we were very congested how the, we pressed. Yeah. So and the pitch is already small. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's already, no, it's, it's not. It's pitch. like fifth biggest. Dimensions is small. No, it's the fifth biggest d- dimensions in the league. Is it? It's like, like fifth or sixth so or something. Wait, like the, stadium the stadium looks amazing. Hey, looks man. But, no, but it's true though. It's, it's, no, hey, we've seen it as that, but it looks going like on with, uh, this is what I'm talking about with Odegaard, yeah. That guy, I know, oh, f-, f, I nearly lost my point. I lost my point. So you call him Kim Kalstrom. That is no, he is Kim Kalstrom. He's nah, Kim Kalstrom. Right? I think, no, I think George was a big captain, bro, basically, but George basically. was a big That's, issue, though. I got it. I got what I wanted to say. <laughs> Go on. Arsenal, Go on. Arsenal's the, one of the only fan bases, yeah, yeah, where you're not allowed to criticize their own players. What? He really criticized I feel like that's a lot. Wait, wait, wait. He, 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 said, he said he got something to say. Can't say it. No, I was yeah, still waiting. I'm still waiting. Because that's it. Odegaard, Odegaard's been stinking up for a bit. Odegaard's been stinking stinking up. Everyone just bats an eye. No one really goes. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, for it cool, to be cool, good. cool, cool. Lukaya Saka this season hasn't been great. He's he's had more impact than uh, Odegaard. Yeah, but I'm saying well, at least but, with Saka. But, but, but at least with he, Saka, as mad as it's at least with Saka. Okay, cool. He might not get a goal or assist, but he's constantly killing that fullback. Yeah, but I don't feel like these stats are real, you know, because like you know today, well, like, even even today, yeah. I saw a retweeted thing of of. Saka's performance against Chelsea. Most ground jewels won, most take-ons <laughs> completed, most this, most that. Yeah. I was like, that's a lot of most, yet he, he was pocketed by Cucurella. So I'm thinking, he got how does highest, this even make sense? He highest rating for Arsenal players on um, FootMob. I feel like it's, it's like, obviously he did take on, like he, he did take him on three times and beat him. But Beautiful like, assist as well. That, that yeah, it was, yeah but that's what I'm saying. So like, you're going to get a good rating from getting an assist like that anyway. But like, in terms of the general play, he, he was under... So, under uh, so, okay, let me ask you guys a question. Yeah. Let me ask you guys a question. Go on. How early did you did you want to see Martin Odegaard hooked? Well, mainly Sharks. My, my thing is now, I get it. He should have come off earlier because in this specific game, he wasn't impacting the game. Yeah. You know, Declan Rice looked like he was in control of the game. Every Martin game has been Odegaard amazing. on the other side didn't. Why doesn't... And the thing I respected a lot about when we had Emery... He made those half time changes. I technically start making them half time changes. I like when a manager does that. Okay, mm. it's not working. Let's change it. He didn't do it, mm-hmm. but he did take off Odegaard eventually, and we did come back. You know. Yeah. Um, I just think you're being a bit too harsh, and I think a lot of fans are being a bit too harsh. I, I really don't because but I feel like this. I I was obviously it's a new season, whatever it is. I we're going into it now, nine games into the season, if that makes sense. Mm. So. I, I can now start asking questions. Like, that's why last week I was no, like, yeah, last, last, week, I, yeah, I, last, last week I asked questions. Mm. This week, it basically backed up what I said before the international break, which is, where is he? If a guy mm. that's our captain, mm-hmm. meant to be our, the be- our, our biggest chance creator, mm-hmm. meant to be the, the cam, the 10 of our team. Some A lot of people say, like, 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 like CBK has said to me, He's had different partners. He's had Havertz at one point. He but had Fabio Freire at one point. He had Party. He had Rice as a six. He's had. Is that? But do you not believe Georgina. in that way? You think someone has to be good no matter who they play with? Or no, do you think I'm not asking. I'm not asking him to play nines and tens every week. No, look at Harlan without De Bruyne. But I think That's it's massive. As a striker, yeah, but, but start, I, I think most of the start of the season until you Havertz started high, getting you dropped. Go, you can go as a striker. You can't go hiding if you don't score in three four games. Odegaard can go hiding seven, eight games, yeah, but stars, get a goal, and everyone's like, oh, Martin, saying, Martin Odegaard's back. But Stars, you're saying about from this season, 
I can't go back. Okay, but from the start, from the start of this season, the shift in balance between Jacker, who mm-hmm. chose his moments to bomb forward when he when he wanted to, because Jacker's best perfor- Jacker's best season was his last season yeah. for me. Oh, facts. And so, then at the end, I made for also had party. He yeah. was Finding those yeah. diagonal passes, but he and gave Odegaard the balance. Was able to pick no, the ball up. I'm yeah. not, I'm but he gave the balance, and then he got to bomb forward a, a few times. No, but but I, now you've got Havertz, who is predominantly in the free roaming role, mm-hmm. where he's now Odegaard's role. Now is like right. I need to be a bit more central in the midfield. Yep. I have to drop off a little bit because Havertz is free roaming, so I can't have that luxury mm-hmm. to be in that floating areas across the whole pitch. Rather than like now he's on the right side and having to drop a little bit deeper. So I feel like the majority of his, the game starting this year has definitely been affected by Havertz. Now that Havertz is gone, obviously George wasn't the greatest of players to put in there against us because physically we've got Caicedo in there that probably gave him a hard deal and Conor Gallagher running him down. So it's like, it weren't the best. But if Thomas Partey goes in there, no, Declan, no, Dave, Declan Thomas, Rice is uh, he's, uh, he's, he's different phenomenal. gravy. He's, he's different gravy. Me, I look at Arsenal now and I define our team on three players. Yeah. And that is obviously Saka, Saliba and Rice. Yeah. That is Arsenal Football Club. I look at these players and I'm like, these are all what potential world class talents. Mm. That mm. Are Bro, every time class. I watch I'm like, wow. Yeah. Saka obviously last he's been injured and the last couple of games has been a bit quiet, but we know what he can do. He can he's been our best player since like 27, 2018, right? Mm. Yeah. Back to back England player of the year, all that stuff. We don't even talk about Saka. But Saliba, I look at him and I'm like, this man is if not already, in the next couple of years, everyone, no one's doubting that he'll be the best centre back in the world at some point soon. Do you think so? No, yeah. no, no. No one's that's got I potential am. to be. I definitely no. feel like as if he's a very good player. He'll, huh? be, up, he'll, he'll be up there. He'll be up there, but I, I, wouldn't, I, feel like I wouldn't say he's his, number his one. His legacy will no, be not defined. No, I'm saying he, No, 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 I know. I'm saying in the you future. You say he never will be. I don't think he'll be number one. He'll be a very good defender. He'll be up yeah. there. Yeah. But I don't think he'll be number one. He'll be world one. class. Will he be the yeah, final world class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll have to be number one. And on top of that, yeah, yeah, that's fine. He can be two. And on top of that, then there's Declan Rice. And I'm like, wow. But do you think with Saliba? It's a thing. Like I feel like his legacy will be based on the selection for his national side because I feel like once he starts to provide yes. these kind of performances for the national side, then that's and what it is. Solidifies yeah. that spot exactly. When you've that's got Kanate, when you've got Kanate sitting there, like for me, when you talk about Saliba, and I, and, I see if they find France find a way Saliba to have those Kanate, two. Yeah. Yeah, they need the, to find the both next of them. generation, the next but decade. They're both young, so it can happen. That's, yeah. that's a crazy that partnership. Crazy. If they find Saliba and Kanate and as a partnership and it works for France, two giants, two titans, mm. and it works, France will win another World Cup at least. 100%. Uh, you know, you know, sure. you know, you're, I hear it. Your and Nkunku's not even been seen in his French team and Nkunku's a big player for me, especially at Chelsea. I've been mm. dying for him to be back. Mm. But going, going back Go to on. what and you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. going yeah, back Rice. to what you were saying regarding Saliba, I don't really blame it on him not getting the international like start, start because we've seen it with Gareth Southgate in England. The mm. year that um, tomorrow, oh, well, tomorrow yeah. won the league with Milan, mm. and sometimes Harry the best players always get picked. I know that, so it's it's difficult. Like I don't no, blame I it. It's all about, it's tough, but it adds to your legacy. If you're oh, starting facts. for a country, oh, 100%, 100%, stuff, 100%, 100%. I percent, one hundred percent, I tell you one thing, Sharks. You see, with Rice, yeah, like no, he's special. With Rice, we bought Caicedo and Enzo, yeah, <laughs> and the hype. Like Rice hasn't even been getting gassed. Now Arsenal fans out to gas players. Mm. And I feel like of all the players that they should have been gassing so far this start of the season, it's been Declan Rice because he's glad, been super- yeah. superior. And we've signed 120 million pounds. And Chelsea fans, Chelsea in the ground <laughs> on Twitter, yep. it's Enzo Galore. It's Enzo, Enzo, Why? Enzo. And I'm like, I'd rather have a midfielder that can do one side of the game very well rather than just being a central midfielder that knows how to move the ball on. Because yeah, no, for 120 I, 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 million yeah, pounds. Yeah, I'll be honest. I was saying this in enough. the game as well. Can I say he's a good player? He's, yeah. he's a good player. His but, role but is his role. I was watching the game and, and he didn't do anything wrong. But yeah, I'm like, yeah. I can't believe that this man I'm looking at yeah. is the most expensive player in Premier League history. No, yeah. no, no. He's I coming. couldn't believe it. Yeah, it's mad. I'm like, I can see another three players on the pitch in this position are better than him. Or yeah. two. Yeah. You and can I'm buy, like, you I think can buy two Dominics for Boston. On the same that. pitch. I don't, and I, like, I, I, I do can't think, believe it. But I do feel he's growing into Frank it. Frank Lampard needs his job back. He got, he got sacked for twerking for Declan Rice. Imagine. It's true. Yeah. He saw, you see what Sharky is seeing yeah. now, yeah. what Sharky's talking about Declan Rice. Frank Lampard saw that. He wanted him. He, wanted he him. saw that from a long time ago. He said, yeah, I'm going to get you, mate. <laughs> get bro, every, every game I watch. He's unbelievable. Bro, every He's game I watch Arsenal and Declan Rice. I wish Rice, we had him still. I look at Arsenal and be like, I don't know how he robbed them for 105. But that's 120, like that's, that's 120 million pound player. Physical. 100%. Like, yeah. De- De- like, Declan. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. You were so flat. Yet the only person that was going to galvanize 
anything from that game was Declan Rice. Yes. Was Declan Rice. And it was, it was a big game. We've seen it obviously here. Yeah. That goal, by the way, Against doesn't Man get spoken City. about how good that goal was as well. Yeah. It was that so goal was such a good goal. It was so yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the errors that went into that goal in a second, but that goal was such a great finish. Yeah. And it was, obviously People don't deeper, you know? No, no, how difficult that finish was. Very difficult. On and a wet had, surface. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had to bend it around. He's a techie player, you know? He's very, not, he's oh, yeah. Not, You've seen him on F2, bro. You've seen what he can do. Like, it's unbelievable ability-wise. And even the United game got the winner. Late, well, late on. You know yeah. what it's with Declan Rice, yeah? And these are goals, which is not in his job. I'm yeah. saying, well, you, like, you know pitch, what it's with Declan Rice, yeah? Solid. He's that kind of player where you generally got to watch him live to understand right. why yeah. we hype up, hype mm. up him. Because I was exactly the same. When he was at West Ham, and I was like, he's just some enemy. It's he's the, decent. It's he's just some physicality. enemy. Killer. Some people yeah. have to be just superiorly, f- like, physical in them areas. Try it on the pitch. And, and it, that's it? why I feel like the likes of Enzo's and Jorginho's, like, they're just, they're all right, but they're just not. They're not that good. Mm. I don't get crazy through balls from Enzo. I don't get sweeping up from Enzo. He's not fast. Mm. So it's like, what am I really getting? A ball mover. Mm. Uh, maybe his role's not been as clear yeah. because we've had no balance to our midfield yet and we're still kind of mixing and matching because we've had so many injuries. But now that we've got Cole Palmer in and hopefully when Nkunku comes back, then maybe we might see a different Enzo. But for now, I think the hype is a bit crazy. Mm. Yeah, no, it's Enzo, true. Aquilani... <laughs> what, what did this come? Where did I get from? I hear it. No, it's like, I hear it. We can swap yeah, Endo with Enzo. No, no, like, what well, I mean, yeah, like, bro. he just seems weak. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He just seems weak to me. Mm. Like, the way we're talking about Declan Rice, he's just, like, he looks, Declan Rice looks like a scary player to come up against. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He seems scary. I've seen like, if you're CM, man, if you're trying to get, it's long. The way he wins, you're playing, back the yeah, ball. It just, he just seems like he's just strong. He wins like, that ball back. But yeah. You get bruises all over your body. It's yeah. just crazy. Yeah, well, that's, that's yeah, yeah. Rice, no, he man. just seems like a yeah. You know the thing with Enzo, yeah. I, obviously, Sean, you're you you know better than me. Mm. Watching it from from home, it's he doesn't. He never looks like he wants to show for the ball. You know, mm. whenever I'm watching him, like even against you, against us, when especially against us, yeah. you guys, when you got the ball and they're looking up, mm. he's no, he's never the per- first option to see who. So but I still think he's quality though. I wouldn't oh, doubt that. Like, no. He's good. He's yeah, unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But there's yeah. more to football than just yeah, yeah. I need someone he to feed He don't always want it. He don't always dominate. Like, like you said, he don't always dominantly want it. Like he don't always come short and, and really make the angle. If like, because someone might not make the other angle. So you yeah. have to make the other angle. And that's 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 the biggest credit I give Declan Rice. Yeah, yeah. He he's, always shows. It, it, even though there's times, like you said, where I think he even came out and said, where Arteta was like to him, sometimes you just got to stand still. Yeah. The ball will move and it'll eventually come to. But whereas yeah. deck right, every, left and right, just at West Ham. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm the best player. I need to have the ball on my feet. Arsenal, he, you know, there's more te- like Zinchenko's there who comes inside yeah. and he's like unbelievably oh, technical. Are we talking about Zinchenko? Oh, Odegaard. Yeah, no, no. We'll t- he didn't. He, yeah, he didn't come with the glory either. But I'm saying there's players. Minutes. There's players there as well, like the Odegaards, like the Zinchenko's, all these other players who are just so good with the, with the ball at their feet. Mm. Where Decker doesn't need to be the first one to to get the ball. Uh, but yeah, talking on the game. Can we talk about Spanish goalkeepers? Yes, it needs to oh, be. Oh man! Can we talk about Spanish goalkeepers? This needs As to be of now, it looks like for, for a while now since yep. Cassias yeah. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's that guy? Uh, he had Pepe Reina. He was, was he, all, like? he was all right, man. I like Pepe because now there's I like now them there's still. Robert Sanchez. Yep. Kepa. Yep. Yeah. David Raya. Courtois. Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? That's mad. What? Tivo, you don't like Tivo. Well, you can't Spanish. You don't want to put him in. Is he Spanish? No chance. Oh, sorry. He's Belgian. Oh, he's in. He's in. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> this guy. That. What's wrong yeah. with this guy? I'll David Gea. Oh. You know? Yeah, is, it, is it a trend? Is it Spanish keepers? It's harsh on David. Yeah, yeah I think you're, yeah, well, yeah, it's a bit harsh, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the goalkeepers you when I talk about Man United, but yeah. You know? He's Might as well put on Nana Day. Yeah, yeah, Barcelona. yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Got, he's got Spanish uh, genetics. Yeah. 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 He's, he's lineage yeah. is Spanish. Who's this? <laughs> oh, Nana. Oh, Nana. He came from Barcelona, yeah. La Masia. So he, he, he trained in Spanish his, football. His you actually nearly really sent me on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I had to start thinking for a second. <laughs> you nearly sent me. But I was um, quickly. The uh, what's your opinions on the Raya Ramsdale situation yeah. as an outsider and as a goalkeeper? And even with the goal, like even even with the goal, like I, I don't feel like the goal was, and the mistake. Well, Cole Palmer tracked him down. Almost. Yeah, He's that one, cat, that one's massive. Yeah, it yeah. was recovered. Yeah, it was recovered. Whenever I say what I want, and he's in the knees like that is, that is, he like this. Nah, but like with me, it's like the statistics on these things nowadays just really, really annoy me because like the stats have been that Robert Sanchez. Most biggest, uh, highest percentage save percentage in the league. Yeah, all this kind of stuff. I'm like, have people really been watching this guy? 
Like I know the league, the league cup game. I was at the league cup game. I don't know if it was televised. So when it, when things ain't televised, it's like people Sanchez people don't see. It. Yeah, for Sanchez, cool. we we could have been three 0 down against Brighton in the league cup mm. in the first fifteen minutes. People were booing him and they they were laughing at each other. He got like, dropped from Brighton. Yeah, he got then dropped got from the Brighton. Chelsea move. It's mad. Man, mad he was third he, option at Brighton. Yeah, and he keeps doing this. It's season. like he's so lackadaisical. Like he's he's when the ball comes to him, it's like. Oh, I've got half an hour on the ball. Mm. I could just turn out and just play the ball. He's been caught a couple of times where they're just about to get to him. Mm. And don't get me wrong, in the, in the game, like he played a beautiful pass out to Gusto early start of the second half. Some of these keepers have great feet. All right, they might yeah. be able to ping a ball. But that Raya performance in that, in that game was horrific at his feet. Mm. How many passes he tried to oh, clip yeah, Raya struggled. that went out of out do you of think play? it was, once again, as a keeper, mm. games like that, when they're that wet, does that affect... I don't feel like as if that affects the the the, the, the you, when you're a professional keeper at that level, like you should be able to be able to adjust mm. after the first mm. one, even if it's the first one. You right, well, cool. I know how. Cool, it felt. I know I can't do this yeah. kind of pass. You know what I mean? So yeah. where yeah. I'll just play safer ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, it's just the it's just this whole philosophy now of football where people really want these goalkeepers to be playing these little intricate kind of inside passes into the thing. Robert Sanchez done it in the first half. Where he, yeah, he, he he pulled off a couple of good passes where. Back in the days, they might not have played like that. You wouldn't have seen Van der Sar do it. You wouldn't have seen Petr Cech do it. Oh, Petr Cech would nose would start bleeding. Do you know what I mean? So they <laughs> wouldn't have goodness. done it. They yeah. wouldn't have been doing it. But nowadays, it's all about that. And it's not about saving shots. And we've seen what's been happening with certain goalkeepers of not saving shots. You oh. don't... There's, it's For me, you've got one goalkeeper in the world. I really think it's just one it's goalkeeper. Allison, in the world. And it's just Alisson. Like, I, do, I don't like any keeper in this league. Why are you smiling? I just because it, I would hate to be in you man's position <laughs> in terms of keepers. I would hate to just like, do you know what I mean? It's just yeah, I, I've been there. One. I've been yeah. there. My, good... I had a keeper that had a concussion in the Champions League final, bro. Oh yeah, he had a concussion. Fam. Yeah, I had a keeper that had a concussion. I've been I've been going through it, bro. I had a keeper called Minule. <laughs> uh, he was good. No, he was uh, for, for Sunderland. It was that's how he signed him. Uh, mm. For Sunderland, save save the penalty on his yeah. debut as well. Yeah, no? For mm. Sunderland, it was good. What's as that well? mean, though? But I would, uh, but I was so angry. Like, do you know in like? I've got so used to Chelsea being crap that I'm I'm <laughs> not I'm, I'm not even angry anymore, Sharks. I gen- like oh. normally I'll be coming in like I'm saying I'm fing pit. Like don't get me wrong, at the time I was fuming. But I put myself into perspective again. I'm like, you know what? You fit, what was that we're that? not gonna win we in two weeks' time against probably we like a Norwich. on last season. So we, we literally missed out on a lot of Sean breakdowns. I'm oh, guessing. mate. What was last season like for you? Because you came 12th, right? <laughs> Listen, mm. I've done little mini like? vlogs here and there, like after games and stuff like that. Going yeah, no, I watched the my oh, yeah, 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 but I was, I was, yeah, like it's just, it, it was really bad last year because obviously you don't ever want to see your team fall out of Champions League. Champions League for me is like, it's the only thing I really get up for. Do you know what I mean? In, in, the, pre, in the season, but yeah, like it's just got so, I've got so used to it now where I, I should be hammering him way more because that mistake, like I said, we were so comfortable. Mm. It's such a lazy pass. Like he do, he's not even vocal. Was, yeah, but do, do you think Enzo had a part to play in that as well? There's always miscommunication. S- some no, miscommunication. Uh, to, uh, yeah, but, miscom- but why is that miscommunicated? You got to remember, you're the person on the ball. Mm. You're the one playing that pass. Both Spanish as well. You should really be Spanish the one. Speakers, yeah. yeah. You you should be the See. one as a goalkeeper. Be you should be shouting at your guy to tell him, "Yo, listen, you need to show for the ball." He doesn't. He just seem vocal. He he looks like a statue. Even the second goal. The Trossard goal, and yeah. look, you and you know what? That's another thing. Snorlax, you like you said Snorlax. No, Snorlax. Yeah, Snorlax. Snorlax. <laughs> it was Snorlax. Snorlax. Might come back. AKA Snorlax. Reece James. No, but Reese James, skipper. He came got put on. on and he got put and right he wing. He scored straight away. Yeah. yeah, but the way that no, they, I don't oh. think he got put on right. He wing. right no, wing, he did. Bro. He did. He came on right wing. No, I. F- oh, okay. Because the, the way I looked at the way I looked at obviously the commentator said he's coming to play. Poch play the back five, make him play right centre back. But then as soon as he came in. Obviously, we yeah, scored. But, but he was that's that's, right that's, wing. that's okay. what would have made sense. Like that's what I thought. That's why I was on to Poch a bit because this is why I'm a bit on to Poch because I, I feel like he doesn't manage games well. The game going towards the end of that game at that stage, right? Sanchez has put you in a really bad situation. You need to shut up shop now. If you want to go five at the back, look at the options we had on the bench. Badi Ashil was there. Um, Desassi was there. Disaster class. <laughs> they, they, these, but these guys were there. <laughs> Disaster class was there. But like, they were there. Like, you, your tall centre half in the box to stop out these kind of last, mi- last 10, 15 minute humping, pumping the ball into the box. You need to stop them, them things. And we kept the same shape, but brought Reese James on and put him right wing. Because you could see him when he's tracking back for that goal. He's just jogging into the area. I'm done, bro. Gusto well, at the back. I saw him grab it. Grabbed it's, it. A great, it's a great cross. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but really again, nice. Sanchez. He makes himself narrow. Against Liverpool, when Salah had his disallowed goal, he didn't make himself big. He's narrowed himself like he's a 
like a line. You can't do that. As a Alisson goalkeeper. would have spread. You got to spread yourself out. You got to make yourself Alisson big. Alisson would have caught the ball. He would have saved that. Yeah. <laughs> where, where? This is a keeper, you know. Yeah. yeah. Where this is Sometimes a keeper speaking. Bro. <laughs> listen. Yeah, that's true. To listen. But, <laughs> but Faisal was also a keeper back in the day. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him. Nah, Faisal. Nah, nah, nah. Faisal a keeper. Yeah, he was. Do you know what I mean? He will get lobbed. You got. Shit. <laughs> you got to be the first. I've told the story on SDS. Faisal in the cup final in the end nine was our goalkeeper. First was the shortest player in our team. Was our keeper. We, we we lost 2-1, we won 1-0 up. The first goal he conceded, the corner taker scored. <laughs> the second goal he conceded, 40 yards out, bang. You know what the maddest thing is? As a, as a manager, was this was in year as nine. A, as a manager, yeah, let's be real. If I'm picking a keeper, the f- one of my first tests is, I need you to jump, touch the crossbar. <laughs> if you're <laughs> nowhere near yeah, yeah, close, yeah, yeah. get the hell out get of here. This was in year nine. <laughs> Faisal was the oldest guy in the pitch. He's same height now. <laughs> Same height as well, bro. He was the oldest. He didn't go. <laughs> he was a mess, fam. He was the smallest guy in goal. Do you know? Oh, my God. The it's, chips. He's getting chipped from halfway nah, line. Getting low. Oh, but I didn't see Chucky. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. His English no, no, my bad. Sorry. His, his English is worse than the well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Nah, la, but. la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. But um, even yeah. Raya, though. Yeah, like, I'm going to say, what starts? Mm. Raya, Ramsdale. What's going on? I'm a you think if I take a shooter's word and I'll Not, yeah. bring Ramsdale uh, back uh, in? You know what it is, yeah? yeah. Um, it's gotten, I think, the Spurs game and then the Champions League game. and Lance, then, Sarek, I think, who is it? Yeah. The game before, what's the game before this? Was, was it Bournemouth? That would be Man City. City, yeah, one now. Man City at the start, remember, where Alvarez ducked mm. him down. Alvarez, same thing as Klopp Palmer. So mm. It's them ones where I'm like, he's starting to make me feel like I don't really try. The thing with Ramsdale, it's like, he has at moment towards the back end of the season, he had moments where he was a bozo. Mm. But the thing was, I think he knew himself. I'm the number one Matt Turner. He's good. Yeah. But he's never he could turned, go. He's never he could, be number he one. could go to he one, could yeah. go to tape, yeah. be yak, go the next day to a game. <laughs> he started, and he knows he's starting. Yeah, 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 the yeah, manager's yeah. looking at him, he's drowsy, and he's like, oh, go, go, then. Yeah, so back, back, back. Whereas Riot made him go, you know what? Sugar, I can't even make mistakes. So now I if Arteta is ballsy enough to go, uh, two things that I should have done was taking off my goalkeeper <laughs> in one game. Yeah, he needs to. Do, he needs to. He needs to get the drop and I'd, play I'd, Ramsdale. I don't agree with that. That having trying to have two number ones and stuff like that. I feel I like, like for it. me, I just feel like it's stupid. But you guys have that. Kelleher and the thingy. So we got two number ones. Yeah, Kelleher could play. Kelleher is a good keeper. He could play in the prem. Yeah, but he'll never take well, Allison's place, bro. Same, Matt Turner's playing in the prem, but he could never. He'll never take. He'll Turner. never take Allison's place. For me, Ramsdale. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping Ramsdale, it was mad, fam. Like for me, you yeah. said he was a bozo. For me, I feel like no, no, he I saved did, you guys I didn't a say lot. He was a bozo like that. I said he was. He had bozo moments. Like he, back in the for season. me, he's a good so keeper. Now Rise having bozo moments. He, you know the thing that Ramsdale can't do that Rise bust with. What? It's when he makes a bozo moment, that knee thing, he does that, and uh, he goes. Well, to, Ryan caught it back <laughs> quick, uh, bro. Uh, and you know one thing about Ryan that I love, like I said, is set pieces when the ball goes in the air. And, and well, I, I, I don't, yeah. You I know, know who's claiming it. Ramsdale, I'm like, and he's my small, head he's smaller than Ramsdale as well. Like by some I distance, hate, it's, it's, I, it's, it's, I don't know whether he done well <laughs> against <laughs> Nicholas Jackson. <laughs> 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 I, oh, don't, yeah, Jackson, he, I don't know. Well, like that's what I'm saying. Does it? Does he do well against Nicholas Jackson, or is Nicholas Jackson just, like, just crap? I think like, Jackson. That, that stomp brother, stomp yeah. Yeah, yeah. He needs to change his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, that brother. How you send a glitch called Nicholas Jackson? Jackson. <laughs> How does that make sense? Tito Jackson. Like, you got Sonny Marnie. Yeah, you need to be called Sadio and Kate to Paul Day. Yeah, yeah. How did Nicholas Kata. Jackson come into this? Well, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes no sense. He, Kamara, he, he you need to be different, fam. He, I don't know what he did. He's dreadful. I don't know what he did. You're right, but I hate Chelsea, man. You hate a lot of things. No, I hate Chelsea. No, I said, I said, like Chelsea. United I mean, me and Sean, teams, me and Sean like... support Chelsea the same way in yep. terms of like yep. we don't hype players up too hard like the preseason with Nicholas Jackson great preseason you could ever think of yep. scored about eight goals yep. he said yeah you know what? we need to put him in the same conversation as Haaland Kane Ian Matson had a great preseason Bro. horrible performer who nice. said those things that you just said Sean are you backing me Twitter, Twitter go crazy for Twitter uh, bro. Oh, season, Jackson yeah. looked. They looked. I said, yeah. he oh, finally got well, a I said, oh my god bro shot it was that they literally went yeah, well, I was better Jesus. I said, yeah, mental. I said, brother, three, four yeah. months ago, yeah. that's what's Bournemouth made me hate came Chelsea. in and he failed a medical. That's why he's not at Bournemouth now. Mm. Una Emery manages the Premier League second his first year, had two bites at saying, you know what, I want Nicholas Jack because he's managed him for three yeah, years. Yeah. He said, I don't want him. Yeah. Todd Bowley was like. 35 Here you go. I'll pay for that. I was actually sitting uh, in the box next to Todd Bowley. I was watching. Yeah. The Garley was losing his head. He didn't know what was going on. He didn't know what was going on. But um, yeah, so anyways, the game finished 2-2. One, mm. one more point on uh, Trossard was a hero again for us. 
He seems to continually. Continue you lot continue. laughed at me when I had him in the draft back in the day when he was playing back in the day at Brighton. I said this man here, yeah. he could play right wing, yeah. he could play left wing, cam. he could play up front, he could play cam. Yep. You don't he's like, he's no, he's, he's our, playing left side of midfield. He's, he's, he's our super sub. He, I, he should start. He's no. the one that we got because didn't get. Majority. That's that's where that's that's where I don't. No, I want to start. Him. Uh, that's why I don't got. He's a, a, he gives you twenty mm. minutes elite stuff. Yeah, I want to start him. I like. So him what, Chicharito on. stuff. Yeah, I like him better than on. that. Better than that, but like I've seen him play start games where I'm like he's quality, but yeah, Martinelli. Yeah, like you saw him, Man City going, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't yeah. hack it. Martinelli came on. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I like him. He's yeah. Martinelli stunk as well, man. Skin, man. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But he's, t- he's a young buck, so I'm a, I'm a lamb. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, cool. <laughs> but the Odegaard's not a young buck. I don't get it. Uh, Odegaard's it's like, like two years of older. He's on 400 bags a week. Like, he's been in the game for a long time. He's been in the game since 19. Yeah. But he's what? Is he 23, 24? Yeah. Uh, what is he? 10 he's, years behind the face? He's aging. <laughs> yeah, 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 basically. <laughs> um, <Ten years. laughs> but listen, that was a Chelsea Arsenal game. Two, finished 2 2. Um, I'm this so is happy. the end of Two points for you guys. dropped for Chelsea, one point gained for Arsenal, yep. or two points dropped for both teams? I, f- I for feel both. like both teams. Uh, yeah. But it was more well. worse. It was more worse for Chelsea. On, on Chelsea. Yeah. Because it's not like, it's not like, both, up, it? it's not like both teams played well. Well, like, but both teams yeah. didn't this play well. This is the end. Like, it's so there's hard. no title hopes for you guys. Like, I'm letting you know now. No, no, no. I'm going to let you know now. There's like. So who's going to win the league? Us or City? So you you guys, you know? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's calcul- you know, like, do guys, your calculation. Guys, 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 I'm gonna be on it. Let me be. Can I be on it? We've already played City, City, United, Chelsea. Yeah. No, no you, City, United, Chelsea, and Spurs. Okay. So what's that mean? That like you lost and, Spurs? And, and we're already above you, and we're undefeated in the league so far. Do you feel like the performances will carry you though? Oh, yeah, I'm, I don't I'm know. Performance over results. Yeah, see, so I'm I talk, get it. I'm talking about science, bro. Like I'm being honest. Like a lot of teams that finish second, yeah, or something, or fight for a title. The second season, if you're not Man City, you drop. How far back though? Like fourth, fifth. Oh, okay. Like you're fighting for a Champions League spot. Like, like yeah. I'm looking at your team. Your team don't look like title challengers, bro. All right. And well, I, that's well, the thing. well, let's speak about a team that you think are title challengers because yep. let's go into the Mercer Derby now. Yeah, let's go and into Liverpool it. versus Everton. You were there. I was. 2-0. I thought you said, I yep. said Liverpool versus Edmonton. I said, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you were there. I mean, yeah, that was, he would have preferred that. That's his hometown, isn't mm. it? Local, local, what? local, local. <laughs> Edmonton's no, no. close to you. No, it's not. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's like thirty minutes. Nah, it's I, I think you. I think you've equaled the performances, uh, equaled the um, appearances at um, Anfield as Lee Ben has with Old, Old Trafford. No, I haven't equaled. Well, you've support. You've surpassed it. I've left him. Yeah, that's what? what he's got. Yeah. Lee only got one, one cap. Only got one cap. Fam. No. That's he's, nothing. He's got more. Yeah. But you had the game. Family day out. You had the game. You had the game. <laughs> it was a. It was a thing game as well. Charity game. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a charity yeah, game it was, it was, it was. to watch uh, the old old Man United players and that. Yeah, yeah you're right. You yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Andy Cole, Dwight Yoke. Steve Bruce and the man. Yeah, yeah. 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 He went there. But the game finished two now. Yeah, solid double. Talk to me about the game. My captain. Um, the performance of Liverpool, I was surprised with Salah's performance. Even, he got, but this is the difference of world class. Isn't Van Dijk the captain? Huh? Yeah, Van Dijk is. No, no, I'm saying my FPL captain. Yeah. Oh, FPL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm smart. You lot, Haaland, Haaland, yeah. da, 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 da. Okay, keep your 16 points, fam. Yeah, go on. I got 32. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so with Salah, this is what showed me why. <laughs> you, know, you know the worst thing about, sorry for you. <laughs> this is the worst thing. No, just to, just yeah. to end. He, he's, he can cook because he's top of the FPL league. So I like why me listening to it. Why are you taking my glory? Yeah, end, sorry, of, end, of the show, end of the show. End of the show. Fam. Why does he want to take my bars? End sorry, of the show. Right. To FPL. End of the Go show. On. Liverpool, Everton. Liverpool and Everton. Okay, cool. This is why, like, there's world class <laughs> players. Not guys. Let him cook. It's just him falling his arms trying to look serious. No, no, but it's the off. truth. Like, was at the game? Don't here. don't give it's anyone. Like don't give anyone the. I was at the game, bro. I was at the game. I saw everything. I was right wing. Don't. Call anyone world class, bro, because it doesn't work like that. Mm. Okay, cool. like St- Salah never had a good game at all. He Ooh. scored two goals. No, no, like when he was right. playing, oh, he wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't. Yeah. He never had a. Good, I, I looked at him and I was thinking, I can't believe this is Salah, fam. Like I can't believe it. But then he scored two goals, and that's what a world class player does. Yeah. So we can't keep calling these random players world class, world class. No, you can't, because it's levels. It's people like Salah, Ronaldo, Messi, Mbappe. That's world class. But you wouldn't, get you, wouldn't you say world class as well doesn't intend to apply to Ashley on getting <laughs> uh, getting red card? No, no, we were gonna, we gonna beat them anyway. Luis Diaz, we, we was gonna beat them anyway. Get, gaining a penalty, like we was gonna beat them anyway. Do you get like let's I see, think it was. I think I, I don't I think, think Allison done the safe. No, but I, th- I think it was a good game. Oh yeah, bro, it was a good game. It's a derby though. It's a twelve thirty. 
Do you get it? Um, <laughs> at, uh, McAllister <laughs> was playing below sea level. Yeah. On Thursday, uh, came Nunes back as well. just came below sea level. They just come back. It's 4.30. <laughs> below sea level. Yeah, yeah. Below sea level is mental. It's the truth. Below sea level. So how does that, that, how does, how does that affect your play? So when you play below sea level, yeah. the altitude <laughs> yeah. is, is like on minus. Okay. Yeah. Do you get it? So it's like harder to breathe. The breathe the air you're breathing, it's yeah. not really, it's artificial air. It's so who's that, who's that from the ocean? Do you get it? It's not really, so it's not organic. Who's it for? Is it McAllister, Darwin Innes? What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, the our South American news. Yeah. Uh-huh. So Luis Diaz played and he looked like he was playing in Europe. Yep. You're right. You're right. Yeah, but still, the altitude <laughs> makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. But for me, like, I, 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 I'm not disparate. I always thought, I knew we were going to get three points, even if they yeah, had... Yeah, it. no, I'd be 100%. It's yes. like playing for United, bro. We was creating chances, but it wasn't really working Pickford or anything like that. But they, they weren't, they couldn't get the ball out. Mm. of their own half at times. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about when they had 11 men. But then when they got down to 10, I said, okay, cool. First half, we're getting goal. We're going to get a goal. But it wasn't happening. So I was thinking, oh, it's going to be one of them days. That's what I thought. I thought it was going to be one of them days. But then when we got the penalty and Salah scored, here we are. I was on Salah watch that. I, w- I was actually on Salah watch. Like, yeah, yeah, some Salah of, some of his he dribbles and yeah, some of yeah, his touches. He's crossing, was, everything was, was all yeah, over the place. Terrible. And I was thinking, what the hell is going on? I've got a question for you, Fiz. Shoot. Was you a bit worried? Uh, yeah. Leading up to the game when you was walking past them Everton fans, you know them Everton. <sighs> all them I was frightened, bro. Because <coughs> you had, had your Liverpool jacket. You had a Liverpool jacket. I had, a Liverpool, like I had my so Liverpool yeah. jacket. I had a camera, <laughs> and I'm I'm just looking around. I'm thinking, yeah, it's me. It's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> Something's happening to me today. <laughs> In the park. This is long to get, but I saw police. And I was just, you I've never been, so <laughs> <laughs> been so happy to see Fed. I've never been so happy. I saw Pili, I said, I'm with you guys today. What's it like being in Liverpool food? Do people recognise you? Oh yeah, Obviously, yeah, yeah. Like no, being Liverpool, Liverpool yeah, the, the, the Liverpool is crazy. Like even people that come from um, overseas, like Norway yeah. oh, elite. and stuff like that. Obviously SDS is massive, so. They see it from there, but what yeah, no, being, being home. Fans say to you Fu, you're right, lad. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, lad. Yeah, yeah mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the score going to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they pronounce it? What? How do they say score prediction? Score prediction. Score pred- uh, they, yeah. they do that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Three nil, mate. Jota, Salah, <laughs> Nunes. <laughs> hey, lad, <laughs> Nunes. <laughs> yeah, they love doing that. I, like I heard, that. I heard yeah. Trent pointed at you, at you as well. Who? Oh, Trent. Trent sent you yeah, yeah. He said, he said, he said, call me. I said no. Yeah, like but I, you didn't want to call him. My phone died. Oh, here it's still. Oh, damn. But yeah, yeah. You saw the video message. You, any, I know you guys saw the video message. Yeah, that was nice. It's yeah. different now, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, that's your boy, man. With, with Everton, my best friend. He don't yeah. know it yet, though. With Everton, though, into that game, yeah, I felt like obviously Sean Dyche had to bring on. It was a bit Michael was, Keane and what's his yeah, name? Yeah, I feel like mm. the ref. Yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah. I think that kind of as mad as it sounds, I think that kind of ruined the game in a sense of because you're, you're like you said. They're known to losing to Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. I hate, if it's 2-0, no, I could bring, make it a back five. But the fact it was thingy, now you're sitting, playing that low block where you already leak goals. Mm-hmm. So it, you playing a low block, it don't mean much because you already leak goals anyway. Mm-hmm. So doing that for me, it changes the whole thing because they were still creating, not, te- not saying they create big chances, but you know, like little half chances where they're in the box and then in the decisiveness of like the Corey traveling with it, losing the ball, like, uh, what you call it, Dwight McNeil having the striking the ball from outside the box, but yep. bringing on Michael Keane, Patterson, where like I said, the most damage was done off the left. They bought, skipping past. They Callum had five Patterson. at the back. They had five at the back. Because what was it? Ca- ca- uh, Callum Patterson, isn't it? Ca- yeah, Callum Patterson slid in. Should have been a pen. Mm-hmm. That first one on loose the ass. Yeah. Then the second one, Michael Keane handball, like similar, not similar to Saliba, but a lot I mean, of people yeah, are like I, it's a bit I harsh. Think they, I think Everton did all they could do. Obviously, when it was Lenvy Lemons, a good game. 10 v 11 makes it hard. Don't and even like Onana, I think defensively did really, really well. The core is so, very tall, well. Such a t- ah. big guy, you know, winning everything defensively. The core, the core for me was massive Corey in that really game. Well. I think he, he, even when it went down to 10, he was very good. But it's just, I feel like with Everton, they're, they're, they're just, the, the naivety in their play with the quality of the players that they have. Mm-hmm. So many chances Liverpool were having on the breakaway in terms I of I hated that about Sean Dash, you know. I would have gone into half time going, like if you've got a team if you've got an analytical team, whatever, you've got people talking to you going, you know what? They've hit us on a count of four times they left us two and one, three on yeah. two. But would you think That's that would just... be, a, would you would you, would you predict that from a Sean Dyche team? You wouldn't no. think that you would, would see that? No, oh, that's why I was like, oh, this is a bit, but special shout out to, what's his name? Wallah, Wallah, quality defender. Brunfway. Oh, Brunfway. 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 Brunf
was on loan at VSV. Yeah. yeah. But is it Everton? Yeah, Everton player, bro. Yeah, 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 no. Well, I watched him. I watched him oh, fully yeah. today, and I'm like, we got quality, six credit five. Nunes as well when he came on above sea level. He's above a top player. He's amazing. He's unselfish bro. as well. I'm very Even unselfish. For a, for yeah, yeah, a like, goal. yeah, yeah. Like, but great. do you think it should be more so as a striker? Sometimes. I mean, but when you have sometimes, yeah, but stuff like that is. I mean, you got to say Salah scored. I got 32 points in my FPL from Salah. Yeah, like he done the right thing. Do you get? But again, we need to have a conversation about referees in the Premier League. Go Do you know on, what I mean? Like, if, if we're going to be like that, we got the three points, so it's done now. I'm happy. It's cool. Mm-hmm. So what's the the, the 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 Ashley Young? I think it was a bit a bit harsh. It was too early on. It's a derby. Like that, more or less ruined the game for Everton. Do you know what I mean? And to be in a flip flop thing, I think even Klopp clocked. Kanati should have been sent off. That's why Kanati came off. Yeah. Oh, the way John Matty mm-hmm. took his trousers thing. off. Kanati. Boom, boom, boom. Quick, 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 quick. Come quick. Off, There's no you time know? to think. Quick, come, come. Once it's off, I'm off the pitch. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, this is the Premier League, bro. It's meant to be one of the best leagues, if not the best league in the world. We have got the refs. Something needs to happen, man. I feel like it's a the continuous VAR. thing. Yeah. It's very Every stupid. Week we have yeah. say that. I think right. Ashley Young's is, are both yellows. Too, yeah, two yellows. Yeah, but I know, but it's like the first one, maybe, like, talk to him. It's early on, bro. It's early nah, on. Nah, it's a he, derby. He tripped him, though. Like, you, you when you're, that, when, when someone... Is, when yeah, it comes to... Yeah, yeah. Cynical, when it comes yeah. to a derby, like, you know what I understand? The players, it's, it's a different type of atmosphere. The, the second one the I hate... The fans are on your back. Like, every, it's, it's different. Harsh, but then you, know you set mean? a bad precedent because then you're just going to say every derby you're allowed to get away with murder. Not allowed to get away. Not get away with murder, but like... The ref... I just feel like the they're sending off this season. It's just been crazy for me. Like, it's been... It's been very like the Van Dyke against Newcastle. There's been so many ones where I feel like, rod. Even been, even us going back. Howard Webb would never do this. Yeah. Even going back to the obviously the Arsenal Chelsea game, mm. they never looked at the Sanchez one when he came out and like literally took out Jesus. Jesus yeah. And yeah. apparently, what's his name? Is it Derry? Is Sutton Derry? I don't know what his name is. The referee that sits with like BT Sport or TNT Sport. Oh yeah, TNT. I think it's TNT. Whatever. He came out and said, "I'm surprised they didn't look at." It's the PGMO. He wasn't. It's the PGMO people that are, yeah. are, are dealing with it. It just sounds so so, cool, so Pigmo. Pigmo. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds. It just sounds chaos like in there. But it's it, 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 is, it is stupid. But I'll tell you one thing about Liverpool. Massively impre- impressive with Shabot's line. Yes. <laughs> this man here. Um, different gravy. You wanted him, right? Give me him at the bridge. That's that's someone who I want Sub-a-sly. in my ten. Those. But once that long range goal so bad, don't it? Yeah. yeah. Like every It'll opportunity come, he gets on the edge of the box, Rocket. it just shoots. Yeah, yeah. But just but like the out, 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 out of the through ball with like the little fl- right, fl- he, he, lift over the top to he Salah. Started every, he's the only he, player that started, he's played good. every game or played every... It was, it was like either played every minute for you this season or started every single game this season yeah. for you. I think it's the only... I'm so happy about midfield, to be fair. I'm I'm I heard a conversation. Summer Slime, McAllister. Graven Birch come on. Graven Birch played amazing. Tiago, when he plays his five games this season, <laughs> yeah. he's gonna come he's when because like when yeah. Tiago comes in, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a mad thing, bro. Like, like t- do you know what I mean? So he likes no Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott. I think he's Harvey, been Harvey he came in and he I got a goal. Quality, he, do you know what I mean? So like, yeah, I'm happy with our thing. I mean, to me personally, it wasn't our best performance. It wasn't the best performance I've seen Liverpool but clean uh, play. Sheet and a 2-0 but a clean sheet, two nil. Salah with two. Can't complain. Can I ask you a question? Fu? Does it does it get frustrating at times? Of how wasteful Luis Diaz is. Sometimes. But I like players like that. Do you know what I mean? Like Diaz. Not wasteful, but like I like I like the way he plays, bro. No, like, do you get? Like he excites. He gives you hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Like he's high very, creative wingers you have. That's what I like to play. I, I like to play like that. He's like me. I see when I see Diaz, I see myself. Yeah. Diaz, what, two me, minutes two minutes into the Neymar, game, Neymar, boom, boom, boom. Like you get like when we score, we do the little dancing thing. I played football with you once. It was a five aside. Oh, come on. You came on off the bench. Hey, let that's me tell not, you what happened. That's not fair, though. You came on that's off the bench because you wanted to play. You weren't meant to play. <laughs> you came on and straight away, you thought Mercer was me. Why is that, though? Because you couldn't see. So first, you couldn't see. Exactly. So you were you saying, Sharky, Sharky. I was him on the ball. It was, some, it was Mercer. Yeah, it was Mercer, yeah. <laughs> then, so all this is happens. T- your whole appearance was two minutes. Yeah. Then I get the ball. I give you a through ball. You yeah. pop your ankle. Yeah. So this, come on. That's a Sorry, minute. man. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't have to, I didn't want to throw that's, you under the that's bus. A that's, that's only one minute into no. the. That's only no, one minute. minute. Yeah. Um, last no, but minute. that's different though because like now and then you're off the pitch again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But do you want me to tell you what happened before what the pitch? Happened? Should I tell you before the pitch? Max, I was playing. Yeah. So we obviously, I said, yeah, I'm not gonna play. Fuzzy, same thing. Rinaldi, same thing. It came to watch. Yeah. So we're just chilling, watching whatever in it. So obviously, Fuzzy, I felt like it was a bit shy. I think he might have wanted to play, but he didn't know the level and quality of the game. I never had my kit, so it was the quality. It was the quality of the game. Yeah. So obviously he's just preying it going, you know what? These guys are actually VD, you know? 
Then obviously he sees you guys just bop, free no, free no, free no. This guy goes, you know what? I want some. I could easily like just get a little social sign back to you and just come yeah. out and go, it's light, like, bro. Yo, Avi, have you got any shoes? Avi goes, yeah, yeah. And you know Avi, the tight shoes that he wears. <laughs> and then my toes Fuzzy ain't look, recovered. Fuzzy put it up. Fuzzy put it on and goes, oh, this is tight, bro. And he's still looking at himself going, do I play like it's, it doesn't feel good? Like he, he was already going into the game, going, you know yeah, what? Know Something bad might happen. Yeah, I said, I, to my, I, I said, I said, I'm gonna get injured. <laughs> I said, I, when I said that, I said, I'm gonna get Why injured. Why'd you come on then? I don't know where it was. I just felt like, let me get a quick goal <laughs> to get me. <laughs> no, no, it's true. Cause I saw a camera there. I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, let me, let me get my goal. I know you had a celebration plan. I, I had everything planned. Oh. Ask them, man. I had everything planned. Everything was planned. We asked him. Head. That's how, that's how confident we were. We asked him, God. So what's your celebration? Cause we I was said, like, I said, you guys are going to see my celebration. I had a celebration plan, like everything. But when I put the shoes on, I said, yo, this is tight. Like my toes ain't breathing. There was no blood circulating. <laughs> My baby toes on top of the other one. It's just, yeah. It was all different. <laughs> it's falling in the falling uh, leg, Shark, he gave me one. It was a nice ball as I well. Gave you a, yeah. Good ball. It's a good pass. I tried to get it. <laughs> I said, yo. And the person next to me is like, oh my God. You know, did it, did it. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. And I screamed. Ah! <laughs> I did that little scream. All right, listen, you might get another chance. If you guys want to see, I don't know, some sort of SDS or football tournament or whatever. I'd love to do something where if we still get a chance to play football yeah, yeah, and you guys get to see it. I'm they, retired, they, so I'll just manage. They've seen my pennies um, anyway. But oh, maybe, we'll like, like, maybe we'll do like maybe we do like podcasts. If we invite other podcasts and so we do they've like a tournament. Pens. Why not? Oh, every, you, you know who's pens. on pens. But but you, got, you got a goalkeeper now as well. There you go. Hey, yo. Faisal. <laughs> <laughs> Faisal and Sean battling <laughs> out. If I was we'll sad, he's still pretty short. But let's get let's get back into the football, okay? Analysis by a couple of Liverpool fans. I'll let you choose because we've got your analysis. Okay. Do you want to hear Femi's analysis? Or young, te- young tech analysis. Young tech. Yeah, Femi or young Mental tech. Names. Okay, before before we uh, Olua Femi, yeah. don't don't show on your name. It's Olua Femi. <laughs> and young tech. His name is actually Olua Femi. Yeah, it's Olua Femi. Yeah. But I just want to say that like, we still got Gakpo to come back. You know what I mean? No, no, no. I just want to tell you guys that. I hear their no, no, I know, but I want to tell you how scary we are. <laughs> that we got Gakpo, <laughs> yes. the Tiago. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Tiago? Yeah, Tiago, lad. Tiago, West VT. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> f- yeah. Is that how he lost? Asthmatic cute. <laughs> we. I have, oh. a, I have a question for you. Yeah, What's, go on. Do Lupa have a mascot? Yeah. What is it? Who is it? What's um, the name? It's the bird thing. <laughs> No, but it's not really a mascot. But he's like, when you're in the box, you see him. You yeah, see no, him outside. If Liverpool offered, yeah, if Liverpool offered you uh, to be the mascot, wear it for the day. One hundred percent. Would you do it? One hundred percent. I'm doing the Dougie. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing yeah, everything, bro. bro. I'm doing, you know, now watch me wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now watch me. I'm, yeah, I'm doing everything. I'm bro. gonna try and make it happen. Yeah. If that's possible, would you I'm be mascot everything. for a game? One hundred and ten percent. Hey, let's make that happen. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'd rather have what, brother? Please, if you could, you know. Them kids that walk out of the footballers. I would give to yeah. him hold a Nunes hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Nunu, trend, hold my trend. hand, fam. Hold my hand, my brother. Don't let go until the whistle blows. Then you can let go and I can walk off. You get me? Or I want him to bring the ball in a mini car. Well, you got to be in the full kit, though, because the kid is Oh, 100%. 100%. But you want him the same as the place in the kit. Huh? You want him the same. Uh, how? Because he doesn't. Like, he won't look the same on you. <laughs> You know what the matter stick is? You know what the matter stick is? Sharky can laugh. These two are laughing. These two are laughing. Sharky shooks. Crazy. Sharky shooks up to here. Not even touching the belly button. Wait, the tilt, the tilt, the tilt, the tilt. The tilt, that shit while I'm That's why he don't, he don't, sharks don't wear, I mean, not sharks, stars don't wear football tops. It comes a belly crop top. Huh? It, looks like, it looks like Top Shop. Really top shop. <laughs> oh, oh man. No, okay, let's, let's be serious. Let's be serious. Oh my, no. Oh, I swallowed them. I had a burp stuck while laughing and I almost. Oh, oh that hurt. That was a good one, the last. No, no, I, I just pictured it. I would this, definitely. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, Femi or Young Tech from Liverpool? Uh, Young Tech. Uh, young tech. But the fit, all right, we might have both. Innit? Young tech. I just want to hear the first line of both, just to see. Young you know tech said, "I can see how the first yellow, uh, young yellow, is a talking point, but it's the same as Jota versus Spurs on a yellow. No matter how harsh it was, you cannot go in and make those challenges. You are just begging for a second. Mm. Overall, a routine win. Good to get a clean sheet, which is rare for us these days. On to the next. That's all we have to say. Three lines. 
Fam, read Femi, fam. <laughs> Femi says, generally speaking, we had control over the game. I like that. We were very dominant, but lacked the edge in the final third. Mm. You've got to give Branthwaite and Tarkovsky credit because there were rocks at the back for the Blues. Salah's two goals were the difference in the end. He showcased why he's so important to us. Seven goals and four assists in nine games is an impressive return so far this season. The assist by Nunes for the second was brilliant. He's matured lots over the past year. His link-up play is highly underrated. I might be Femi. I might be Femi. <laughs> <laughs> he just he copied me word for word, bar for bar. You should, you should have picked him then. <laughs> Femi, yeah, big up, man. We watched the same ball. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next game. Uh, we got just like that. No credit to Liverpool. Where do you think they're going to finish in the league? Okay, where, where do you, he said that. He said they could be for the league. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But do you I guys agree? No one agreed. No one I said think, no. I think you'll, I think you'll be. You. There, I think you'll be third. Yeah, same. I, I think, think you guys will go. Hear this. this. You finish above Arsenal. That's it. Uh, that's I, I, want, I really wanted to hear that from a 12th place Chelsea it. fan. Yeah. Well, uh, like that was already just like Arsenal. Like you're supposed to be in the same boat with me, stars. You right? No, you're tenth. You're doing what? You're tenth. Twelve points out of a possible twenty-seven. Yeah. That's mad. Not even half. Both, yeah. Where, where has this gone from That's me giving having an opinion? You agreed with it. Me telling, yeah, you you telling me that Chelsea we're in terms. Uh, Man City versus Brighton, uh, league leaders. Uh, they've coming off two games in a row, two losses in a row in the Prem, Wolves and Arsenal. So they really needed this. And obviously Brighton's no easy opponent. But City got the win. But once again, it's close. 2-1. You know, they're not washing teams anymore. Haaland finally broke the duck. He scored. He scored. Uh, he finally busted. Alvarez him. scored the first goal of the game. He's looking like he's, you know. That guy, they've, got, they've got the best two strikers in the league, it looks like. But go on, sure. talk about Alvarez. Bro, that guy, I think he's, he's better stri- uh, He's better overall striker than Haaland. Why? Because he offers everything. Like He's not, he would never be Haaland's senior in terms of goals. But he can give you 35 and 17. Whereas Haaland will give you... 64 and 4. So for mm. me, Haaland, I mean, Alvarez, if they if they didn't have Haaland, they would still be who they are. Mm. In terms of like, yeah, yeah in terms of, then they, they, they was winning the leagues with Phil Foden, Raheem Sterling, Lina Lyon. Alvarez, he's, he's, it's, he's like that Aguero. As Sean has said for a while, he's like that Aguero, 17 million. He just, he, he has everything, bro. Like, my, literally my, has my, everything. My, he's scared as well, bro. My scout in profile. Is, he's not, he's is fearless, good, bro. I told you about Alvarez. This guy's a signed him. He's special, bro. Good, but the Haaland thing is a bit mad. I'm not gonna lie to you, stars. Nah, he's a better striker yeah. overall, overall striker than Haaland. Yeah. <sighs> What's the? Oh, it's, it's the word overall that you're yeah. adding now. That's making it. Because now we're just downplaying Haaland. No, because if I say if, if I say is, he's yeah. a better striker than Haaland, that is disrespectful to Haaland because Haaland reaches heights that I don't think Alvarez will ever reach. Whereas overall play, like you said, like you said today. First, first goal in like last. Let's uh, forget this four, overall five. plating and stuff. No, no, stars, last man. five, first goal in last five. Mm-hmm. Beautiful strike, by the way. It was purely him, but yeah. you you've seen him when he carries when Haaland carries the ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he either bulldozes someone or that doesn't the look balls, pretty. The balls on the receiver doesn't look pretty. I agree. Whereas Alvarez, he can glide with it. He can do. He can do everybody striking. He he, he 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 just uses his back lift, bro. One one step. That's it. If yeah, but then it's like, it's, it's the same kind of thing of how we talk about Salah and Haaland. Like, in terms of that that kind of, obviously they don't play in the same position, but the same kind of visual style of not being pretty on the eye, but superior at doing certain things. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we have to say that he's better than Haaland, but like, in terms of what Alvarez does man. give, I give him Alvarez powers. free kicks, mm. he gives the free kicks, like I said before, like, he just, if you were to see him up front by himself, Danger. all right, maybe, maybe Haaland, like, forget Haaland even joined City and yeah. they sign Alvarez. He probably comes in and does just as such as just as good of a similar job to what Sergio Aguero was doing at City yeah. when he was there. Because I feel like that's the type of player he is. Facts. If you put him up front by himself, he'll run down channels. He'll be an option in the in in. in I I, I agree. Places. I think he's a phenomenal yeah. footballer, phenomenal striker. He's like, imagine Jesus was a goal scorer. This is crazy, now. you know. This guy's even nuts. <laughs> no, no. Uh, this is everything. Yeah, I know I'll mean. give you even more. Jesus, I'll Jesus I'll is I'll a great. I'll no, but I'm saying like Jesus, great dribbler, comes back involved Jesus in the will be, team. J- Jesus will still be at Man City. Yeah, yeah. If it will Jesus, be, of course. like I said, Jesus. Yeah, will be but I'm saying they got Alvarez. They got rid of Jesus and said, "Cool, we got Alvarez and Haaland." Bye. Yeah. Do you feel like that's where they lose Crazy. the balance though of their team of why you think that they're not playing that well? It's because they're playing Alvarez and Haaland and, where they're forced to play them and then you've got Foden in the mix now. And now Bernardo Silva in there as well. And Bernardo Silva's floating around as option. I feel like. With that, I feel like when there's no key KDB, yeah. Highland is not 100. Yeah, yeah, it's, I feel it's like just, Highland course, needs yeah. this guy mad. 
They like, complement each other for yeah, their, yeah, their yeah, goals. Yeah. You know but in mean? terms of the balance going forward, like you said, I feel like City don't really play. Well, they, play they, don't, they don't look like they've been playing they the, play the football that they used to. They play 3-2-4-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like they've got the defence, which was in this game, Walker, Kanji, Gavardio. They've got Stones and Rodri sitting just in front. And if yeah. they need to turn into a back four when they get an attack, they, Stones will drop back in there. And then they literally have, behind Haaland, they have four wingers or strikers. Mm. Foden, Alvarez, Silva, Doku. And then, uh, then Harlan just in front of that. It's like they've got five strikers, you know, and it's so attacking. And Pep, maybe Pep, that's Pep's ability to get people back into the side from signings of replacing players that have either retired or leaving the club has been super elite. Doku and Grealish coming in after the Mares and just uh, all these players that have been leaving and s- coming to City. Like, it's just mm. been it's been elite with how he's done it. But in terms of that defending, Gavardio, Matoma nearly dunked on Gavardio at the back post. Did you not see that chance? With a header. Mato- Matoma's oh, crossed bro, I didn't fly, Matoma's yeah. crossed Matoma climbed over Gavardio for a header. It was meant to for fucking no. Even Matoma more. had a good dribble against Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> moves. You know, he does that really well where he, you know, he stops and He's then like carries on. Yeah, pulls back, yeah, pulls it back and then goes mm. again. That's the but master yeah. of... City still, but City look, look dangerous still. They look. Yeah. At, they still look dangerous though. Yeah. Like, in terms they, of they're, their they're like They're like... Well, Arsenal's like them now in this, this season in terms of... You, you just don't look good but you just win a game. But this is where you let Liverpool come into the mix. Creep in. Yeah. True. Yeah, That's why in. is it Man City and Arsenal joint points? Uh, well, yeah, twenty one. Yeah, 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 Spurs are top right now. With City and Arsenal. I think we're both having joint identical seasons. Yeah, but that. it's not the same stars. Let's not do that, man. Please, man. Obviously, they don't have KDB. Do you know what I mean? So they have, have two losses. They've they they got two losses. We've got zero. They can. I know, but they and they and they can still win the league. They can still win the league. So can we? Nah, the Sharks. So they can still win the league at twenty one points, but we can't still win the league at twenty one points. No, 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 it's impossible. How's it impossible? Because you know what. St- what Man City are saying now... Can Spurs win the league? No, they can't. Impossible. So only City and Liverpool can win the league? Yeah, 100%. What City are doing now is... You know what they're saying to us? Mm. To all of us? Here's a chance. Take your advantage now. Yep. That's what we're doing Take now. your advantage now. Come April, shout me. Facts. That's what they always do. You have to win the league in April. If you don't win the, the league in April, April what happens? Mayor, we're winning. By the time it gets May, to, well, by the time May it gets March, winning. What happens by the time it gets to March for the team in first place? Team in first place, you, whoever, you won the league. I said, if team in first place is not yeah. City, what happens to that team from March? It depends on the points. What do they start time. hearing? It de- <laughs> Bro. <laughs> That's Yaya, yeah, no? It's, it's not Yaya Torre. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, what well, Yaya does. Okay, okay. <laughs> he rarely scored yeah, a goal like really that. Sco- he rarely scored a goal like that. <laughs> <He's rallying. laughs> uh, no, but, but hey, then. trust me, they're saying right now, you lot take advantage, innit? Yeah, mm-hmm. take advantage. Go out and do your thing, because second half of the season is long for you lot. How many men you got going to Afcon? Literally Two. just party and El Nene. Oh, is it El Nene? And Mad <laughs> start for us. So if you get an <laughs> injury, you wanted to hear so many names. Yeah, yeah. yeah but party no, starts no, no. though. He doesn't start for us, but he's gonna start. He's a massive. He's I a don't massive think miss. so. Honestly, I think the signing miss. of Rice. He's a massive miss. He's, he's a massive miss, miss but he doesn't really big, start. He's for a big miss, but you can tell he wants he wants Declan Rice to play that. That's what I'm saying. He's not gonna play for us. But City's depth. So it's like we have zero. City have no one. City have no one going Afcon. Yeah, no, not one player. And their depth is mad as it is. Yeah, we should be taking advantage, bro. I'm being real. All of us, like when we haven't. Really been taking advantage. You against Chelsea, us against Brighton. <laughs> hey, you trying to run yeah, like that? Likewise, City lost to Wolves. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Lost to us. Yeah, but, but even if they're losing like that, they it still doesn't matter. But, but listen, they beat Brighton here. It still doesn't matter. <laughs> we've, seen, we've seen it. You've seen it. How many points clear? We yeah, we did a whole talk. We did survive in City. Yeah, exactly. We did it. You have to take advantage now. Like you need to be 15 points clear or, or 20 points clear for you to win the league against City. Otherwise, it's long. Mm. You guys done it. You're the only one that's done it. COVID messed us up. We could have won the league in March. I'm so, you know, no I'm one so happy ever, didn't go No to one's break. done that. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy We could have won break. it in March, bro. Yeah, we lifted the trophy in the empty stadium instead. I, w- I, w- I was there, but I wasn't there. Did you get it? I was there, <laughs> I but I wasn't there. Well, like. On Zoom. <laughs> but let's go into this game. Obviously, they won 2-1. The two, two, two strikers scored Alvarez and Haaland with Ansu Fati scoring a consolation goal in the end. Um, with Brighton... They're having a say. strange season. It's I mean, they're, worrying. They're more games, seventh, more seventh. games, Europa League and stuff. It's just too much for them. Trust they're, me. They're I said it from the beginning. They're still in a good position. Like that's no, no, no. Newcastle. Just, just outside the, the top six. They're Newcastle there. and, and um, Brighton. And Villa. It's not, no, Villa's doing what? Villa's, Villa's surprising well. me. Yeah. I'm going to be real. <laughs> Villa's fifth. We'll get but into them. Newcastle and Brighton. Yeah, we'll get into them. They, I like them, man. You know why, innit? I know you like them. Yeah. DL. DL. <laughs> Aye, but Brighton and Newcastle, they, this is not going to be the same team 
that we saw last season. It's they have identical complete. records. Five win, one draw, three it's losses. Gonna, it's going to be three losses. Both of them. But remember, remember Newcastle had theirs early in the season when they played. They had a tough start. This yeah, 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 doesn't matter. They, they played Liverpool, have a tough start. City, yeah. and yeah, they they shouldn't have lost to you. Really, it was a miracle. How a miracle game? It was a miracle. Like we we played well. Yeah, ten men from the start of the game. That's not my problem. And you scored. Nuno saved you. No, no. A goat, fam. Yeah. What can I do? Yeah, don't blame me. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, they're not going to be the same. Mm. They are not going to be the same. <laughs> How do you think Brighton's gonna get on? How do you f- what have you been thinking about? I don't Brighton? think uh, they're not the same. They lost a stupid man. Yep. Uh, McAllister, can't miss. say though. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not concerned about that. As in, like, oh, in terms of I think you know it's, they've been doing a lot of like chop, chopping and changing. I have to because like I said, they have more, a one more in five team, in all comps. But even from the start of this season, Sean can, Sean can back me. They've they've leaked a lot of goals. Like it's either high scoring, whether they're scoring four, conceding one, or they're getting pop three one, yeah. four four two, whatever it is. Six and one to Villa. And you can yeah exactly. And you can't you can't play football like that, bro. They even even, even in the um, Europa League, they drew to Marseille three three. Mm. They lost two, to two. A, two two. Sorry, yeah. like Athens. I think they they, they drew lo- to you guys two two last week. Yeah yeah yeah. They lost. Bare, they lost bare main def- men, man. Defensive midfield. Bro. Mm. They played They've James Milner against everything. Jeremy Doherty. Yeah, come back from that. Played James Milner. From when you played, that's, that's what made me surprised. First game of the season when I was like, I was at the Hilltop game. I looked at this, the lineup and I saw like James Milner playing. He's the first choice right back I'm like, as well. Yeah, and right, right back. I'm like, yeah. This man's playing in this team in this day and age for Brighton mm. when they've got all these players that they'd be able to produce yeah. up front. Joel Veltman, but they can't find these defenders or midfielders. Mm. And Sisos and his B- B- Bonav- B- Bonaventura was his name. Yeah, is? Bonaventura. Bonavente. Whatever his name is Bonanote. Yeah, Bonanote. Bo- Bonanote. Bonaventura. <laughs> Bonaventura. <laughs> whatever. In Sisos out for a while. Obviously, yeah. Stupinian is out. Lamptey is currently injured. Um, but yeah, I mean, it makes it's weird because obviously, obviously they got they got pieces. Evan Ferguson, Mitoma. But he doesn't even start. He had to come on. He didn't. He, he get, came on he very early. On. On. Uh, yeah, not because of the injury. But yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. How is Evan Ferguson not starting? Yeah, Warbeck's well, well, is starting sometimes. Uh, do you think? Do you think Gal this Pedro is a bright spot? Yeah. Do you think this is like now hindering? Like it's still early. That Evan Ferguson's progression. Yeah, hundred percent is because you're only getting sniffs now. Like he needs to be starting. Like Ollie Watkins starts for Villa. Mm. Yeah, but the only reason, as man, is that Ollie Watkins starts for Villa is because remember they had to sh- they shipped out Danny Ings and brought in that. Duran guy. Mm. So now they're like, okay, cool. This, this Duran guy is a you in experience. Yeah, yeah. We can afford to play Ollie Watkins yeah, yeah. eight minutes a game. But I feel like Evan, Evan Ferguson is there ready. Oh, he is big time. So he needs to be starting. And this messes them up because now if a team in the summer goes, you know, we'll take Evan Ferguson off and they're like, you're 130. Like, it's, it's not justifiable. How comes, like, how comes Edison was on the bench this game? Uh, brother, below sea level and below he didn't play. Uh, you have to ask him. So no, he no, didn't play for Brazil, did he? That, how low was he? It was very, I think Brazil. Did he play for Brazil? Well, I don't know. He must, have, must, have, must have. He must have. But you're a keeper. Even if he, I couldn't yeah. care. Well, like, you could play. Yeah, he played 90 minutes you against You could play in China, whatever you want. They still got you're a free keeper, bro. You're a keeper. You're a keeper. You're a keeper. He played 90 minutes against huh? Uruguay. Yeah, and they lost right, to bro. Obviously, Nunes. Yeah, Nunes goal and Nunes, assist. Yeah, goal and assist. Nunes goal and assist. Yeah, obviously, Edison played. But is that the reason he didn't play? He was on the bench. He was on the bench. Of course. I like that. I like that. I like Ortega as well. Ortega can start in most points. Yeah, yeah. I mean. He's like Keller. Like, they both can start. Yeah, but Edison might. His fitness might be different. Do you get it? Bro, all he does is kick the ball. Yeah, I know. But for him, it might be different. He might blend, fam. That's true. I hear it still. Got a tattoo in his neck. He's a blemmer, fam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm blem, bro. You got a tattoo so here. Smiley face. You got a tattoo on your neck here. Smiley bro. face, bro. You smoke. Is that what it means? Uh, 100%. What about Liban's one on his arm? Oh, uh, Liban's one. Is disgusting. <laughs> that heat map. He didn't let the guy finish. Because he realised, oh, no, this is haram. They got half done. <laughs> Liban's heat map changes everything. You try to get a love heart. Do you see what it looks like? Yeah. Uh, Horrible. Uh, uh, he let, let me read some stats um, that Steve gave me. For Man City, most consecutive, most consecutive home wins by a Premier League side across all competitions. Um, Man City have 21 just in 2023. Um, and I think, think since Man United as well, 2011 yeah, 12. United got 20 in 2010 11. 10 11. Yeah, so close. 21 in all competitions. All consecutive wins. Old home wins. Home wins. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Home yeah. wins. Yeah. Uh, wins. Yeah, in mm. all competitions. Yeah. Uh, Doku obviously, I think, got man of the match. He completed more take ons per night than any other Premier League player to play 200 plus minutes so far this season. But why is that though? Why is that? James Milner playing right back. <laughs> like oh they're looking, my god! They're doing the Kobe thing, bro. They're saying this. He got cooked. He was on all fours. Play one full flat, bro. Just go one on one. Yeah, and we have two representatives here. We have got Wahid, the City fan, and Tactical Regista, who's representing Brighton. Mm. We don't hear from first guys. Wahid, 
What he decided? Nah, nah, nah. I, I, I want, I want. Um, Tactical Drista. Yeah, uh, filter. This, it's gonna be uh, essay. Go on with you. <laughs> Tactical Drista says. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sleep <laughs> through it now. So when it gets there. Tactical Drista <laughs> says, "Welcome back, Sean." Oh, oh, thank you very much. oh, elite. But in terms of filter. Hey, City majorly Menza. dominated with their biggest wave of success being slightly before midway through the first half. Brighton did have some control though and it showed with them having much more of the field tilt towards the latter stages of the game. Fifth game without a win now with the last being the Bournemouth game but the fixtures have included Chelsea, Villa, Liverpool, Marseille and City with all being relatively quite challenging games. Very good points to be fair. Yeah. They've all been tough games. Uh, Brighton are still in a decent position in seventh. I need to pick up in terms of form and the next couple of months will be the perfect time with some more favourable fixtures upcoming. Well, he says that from City, first game without Rodri Stone's pivot, a uh, first game with the Rodri Stone's pivot and the field was tilting. <laughs> those two plus... Sorry, they went back to back. <laughs> those, two, those two plus Bernardo allowed Doku and Foden to shine and lose the ball sometimes with no consequence. Pure domination up until the final 25 minutes where Brighton started being more... Brighton and our defenders and Ortega had to show um, their quality. And Ortega and our defenders had to show um, their quality and stay calm, which didn't they, they didn't do against Forest. Obviously, Anthony Fati got uh, his first happy goal. from you see him. Uh, yeah, he was Start like, smiling. You can tell, like, yeah, I'm happy for him. Man. And this is meant to be like Messi's replacement number ten. It's obviously now at Barcelona uh, from Barcelona to Brighton. Barcelona had, right? that, Barcelona, Barcelona had that. Barcelona had that. Barcelona had that. It was number thirty-one. Right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Barcelona have that 17 or now who just scored in his debut. I can't pronounce mm. his name. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like, what was it? G I U I U, whatever. Yeah. But he went from like 30k followers. I think he's got almost a million now in one bro, one day. That's what's awesome. Happen, when you, you score a goal, if you, 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 you want to get a million followers, you know what to do, bro. Score a goal for Barcelona. <laughs> you gotta go Barcelona. Get me trials. I got you, don't worry. I'm, I'm wearing Barcelona. I'm, saying, get me trials, I'm repping now. I you got you. Just make sure you got the right size feet. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah, sure they shoot. shoot the, yeah, the boots are the right size. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was the that was the city game. Obviously, Bef- sorry. Before you end it, yeah, go on. Jack Grealish. Yes. What's happened? I'm not even blaming yeah. it on Jack as well because I think Jack's quality. So had he, a great season last year, especially had, the last four months. Yeah, he, unreal. He had an injury. He had a dead leg, and then Doku started playing, and I think just Pep just realized this guy right now is you can't drop him. It's so two it's different styles. Yeah, but different styles. But, 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 Pep Guardiola's never been a kind of person where if this guy's hot, I'm playing him every game. Yeah, to be fair, he's more of a... Hot, drops them. <laughs> this guy's too hot. You know what? Yeah, he's too hot. Him. You drop him. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm playing someone yeah, else. He's yeah. too happy. We have to shake. You have, to, have to shake. shake. Have to shake. You have to shake. That's why he's the best, man. You mm. have to shake. What do you think about the Jack Goody situation and, or, versus Doku on that left side? Uh, I, I feel bad for him because it's like you're coming off arguably your, the best football you've played for the last four months. Like, I'm not really... I don't really, with Jack Grealish, I don't really care about goals and assists because what he does per ninety is a is, is a madness. I'm not gonna lie to you. And him now celebrating, doing his thing with coming back to England, doing the England stuff, mm. just coming back off the Man City parade yeah. and all that stuff. I was thinking, yeah, you know what? Because even with him, what I love about Jack, Grealish, he's so honest when it comes to interviews, yeah. whether it's Sky Sports or just the brand. They always talk about, you know what? Yeah, like, I need to add more goals. Like, I need to add more assists. I know that myself. Or oh, this. I think he FIFA starts Champions League high. game. I think he starts Champions League games for Pep. I just think he'll play midweek management. this week. He'll play this midweek this week. Young boys away. He'll start. Oh, yeah, start. I just think it's perfect management from, like, this is why we rate Pep so highly. It's yeah. like, like you said, even like, when people are too hot, like, well, we, we can relax them. But they've got the options to play now Doku out wide, who's a much more direct player, takes them down the line, beats them. He's that type of type, type type of player, and now Greedish. both can be on form at the same time. Like you said, you utilize both of them fitness wise. You got bare games a week. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just why Pep is graffiti. Sorry for Foden, man. He's been stinking apparently. He's been all right. It's been all right, and he's getting more minutes now. He's finally. This is his chance, you know. For forever, it was like this, this, this guy's talent is, is is known. Everyone knows how good he is, and um, he just couldn't really get consistent run of games. And now he's getting it. And this is his chance to to, to prove it. His drive in the midfield's been all right. Like I, yeah. I feel like it's been really good. Cool. He's doing pretty well, but obviously maybe maybe he needs to be... It's hard to follow on the footsteps of someone like Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. It's, it's not a even machine. Yeah, for, me it's not, yeah. for me, it's not it's even hard. that. Yeah. It's, I think it's just... He has to live up to what we've been screaming the last four years, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, mm. but also he's got to live up to not just De Bruyne as well, Mahrez. He's playing on the right side. He's got to live up to both of them. What yeah. I, do, I do feel sorry for him, though, because his, his main comp op and his op is Bukai Saka. Oh yeah, Saka's yeah, faster. I remember. Thing. I remember when we were talking about uh, yeah. Saka and Foden, and I told you a long time ago, 
I said Saka's better a long time ago. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, it. It. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm still not having it. I'm still not having it. I'm not having it. I'm still not having it. Nah, you got. It's no, but it's a lot you, tighter you now. No, but it's very tight. Yeah, but I can accept yeah, that. Yeah, but if, if, if it's not tight, well, like I said, Saka's better. Yeah, but come on, man. Saka's a right winger, man. Foz not a right winger, man. What is he telling? He's a cam. See, who knows? Who knows where he is? Left wing, right wing, cam. Eight. I think false nine. Like, who knows what he is? But then you know, you know, you know, Foden fans. You know, Foden fans. Obviously, you're a Foden fan, but they'll use that. I love Foden. They'll use the argument like they use the argument like Foden can play right wing, cam. Yeah. Sometimes that's not good. It's not good. Sometimes that's not good. That's not good. Just have a position and and lock it down. Okay, cool. Next game, top of the league, Spurs. Monday Night Football, we just watched it before the game, uh, before we filmed just now. I think everyone watched it different places. A London, yeah, a London <laughs> clash. Uh, Spurs played Fulham and they beat them 2 0. Uh, no player to attempt five plus tackles in the Premier League this season has a higher true tackle success rate than Mickey van der Ven. Unreal, man. Wallahi. What a signing. What a yeah. signing. What a signing. I'm Fast, impressed by him still. Quick, yeah. strong. Yeah. He's you know, everything what Romero tackler. needed. Yeah. Because Romero, everyone knew he was good, but. He was playing alongside Davis and Sanchez, Eric Dyer. His speed is frightening. Bro. Mickey. Yeah, he's oh, fast. Bro, fast. Oh, such a big, big, he's yeah. tall, he's big. The unit. Go on then. So what do you guys think about Spurs? Top of the league. They're doing really well. That back four as well. To be fair, their starting team, obviously Hoiberg started today because Basuma suspended, but their starting team when everyone's there to add Ben to as well is solid. Mm. But the problem is, and what Fouad says as well, is once a couple of those players go down, Madison mm. goes down, Son goes down, mm. you know, and the Adogi goes down. Mm. Then they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And so you never know. But um, yeah, go on. For now, they're doing well at the top of the league comfortably. Set, uh, two nil win against uh, Fulham. Talk to us about Spurs. Sean? Um, after, like, well, life after Harry Kane. But it's just like Richarlison is like, he had a bit of a stinker last week um, when they played Luton. Yep. I felt like, I felt like Tottenham struggled against it. I'm not really f fully sold on Tottenham right now. I'm, I really ain't. But where, where they did add to their team what they needed was a James Madison. And James Madison has been super elite for them. So, obviously now they've they've missed they well they had Richarlison playing up front. Now they've got Hungman Son yep. playing up front. They've rolled revolved, uh, rolled goal and assist today. Yeah, like I think it works better like this. But like 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 Fred said, you can't you can't have one of those teams that only have a starting eleven. We've seen it with Arsenal in the past, where once they have one or two injuries, they start to fail. Mm. Most teams don't have like twenty two players that are of the same quality. So with that team, it, it needs to stay fit and healthy. But that Van der Ven, <laughs> Van der Ven, James Madison has has definitely compensated to a certain level for Harry Kane being not there no more. For sure. And mm. look, if if any of them go down, just even look at their bench today, the players that came on: Emerson, Royale, Skip, Lo Celso, Brennan Johnson, uh, Alejo, Valise. You know, That's well, Eric Dyer, did he make the did he make the bench? But Dyer was on the bench. Yeah, he made the bench finally. He made the bench. Yeah, he now, he made the bench, but. He's probably going to be gone soon. Yeah. I'll give flowers That's to Ange, man. Give yeah. flowers to Ange, yeah, yeah. manager of the month. Give flowers to Spurs at the top of the league and they're playing wonderful football. The best thing they've done in a long time was um, getting rid of Harry Kane. And I don't think it's that. I think it is that, man. I think it's their recruitment, bro. No, no. I think I think I think too in depth. This, as, in, as in this, huh? <laughs> that's too in depth. <laughs> what? Yeah. What mean? Man, don't care about recruitment, the backroom staff, the, no, the, the, I'm not the, the, I'm the chairs, because the, the the dinner <laughs> lady. To? Like he's getting too much in. Like, this is, like, <laughs> it's too much. That's too in depth, bro. It's like depth. they got rid of Harry Kane. And now it's the recruitment of Tottenham the players that they've signed. It's just oh, you talk about oh, recruitment. I thought you meant to talk about the medical room and stuff. He's talking about the dinner ladies. No, no, Okay, is the recruitment new? Yeah, it is the new recruitment, new team, Australian guys. Yeah, I, I was not talking about the manager back stuff. I don't know. I don't know the names. I was talking about the talking about Vicario, Van de Ven, Van de Ven, Madison. Yeah, but you talk about the people that the got team. them, like the people that spoke to them and said, "Let's get this guy." You talk yeah, about them, man. They're, 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 oh, you talk they're. about the players in general, the football. No, as in like the board. Yeah, that got these players in, but that's the first. So not, you what, rate not the board, what, not the bridges of the board. Yeah, yeah I thought you talk about that. I'm not. That's too in depth. Let's not get into that. people. No, no, no. I'm not on that. Who's head of recruitment at Liverpool? What do you mean? Who's the head of recruitment at Liverpool? I don't know. Is Michael Edwards, no? No, he's not he's anymore. Gone now. He's gone. Well, I want him back, though. Miss he was him. good. Yeah, he was, he's, he was Miss good. <laughs> he was good. <laughs> he was good at it. We used to get these players on the cheap. <laughs> and like some players I've never heard of, and they come in, and now they're just... Andy Robertson. Oh, my God. Eight mil. <laughs> wow. Eight mil. He ain't wow. heard of him. But he, I think he's part of the Coutinho one as well, when we got Coutinho for eight mil. Look at that, man. Salah. See? 
We didn't spend 50 million and 80 million on players, bro. 40 on Salah. Apart from Van Dijk, obviously, but Van Dijk one made sense. <laughs> you get me? Yeah. Allison made sense. Stuff like that. No, but you got to make them kind of big boy signings. Yeah, yeah, we did. Because look at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came in and we were in like Champions League finals and that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I feel like for me, Tottenham getting rid of Harry Kane was probably the best thing that they've done in a very long time. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, look at them now. I don't think, yeah, with Harry Kane, if Harry Kane was there now, like they probably wouldn't get a James Madison. No, they got James Madison. They probably would because he got relegated. So, it was, yeah, and like, you know, and James Madison was cheap. Okay, they probably would have. Yeah, uh, he had to. But I know what you mean. I know you mean. It allows you get it? like the sometimes when you do that, as you know, when you do that, it changes the whole way. Yeah, of playing yeah. Football. Like we've seen it happen. I don't know about you, man. It never happened with you, man. Actually, you man's always struggled. Every time your best player gone, you man struggled. Yeah, we lost Van Persie. Yeah, yeah. yeah lost and you struggled. You haven't come back from that. We we come back from that. Do you know what I mean? Like how Coutinho went? Oh yeah, and then what did Coutinho do? We took his money. Boom, come in, my brother, Allison, Van Dijk. And now he didn't, he didn't he didn't think Qatar, fam. He didn't even go Saudi. <laughs> <laughs> he went Qatar. Yeah, he's, he's on he loan. He, he was villa, though. That he's eating, he's nuts. eating dinner with sharks. No, he's yeah, in Qatar, yeah, yeah. fam. He, like everyone's in Saudi. He went nah. nah. He went next yeah, he's door. He's different. <laughs> he went different today. Yeah, he's different. Different. <laughs> Getting back into Spurs and giving Ange some credit on the job he's done so far. Big facts, man. Like, do you think it's overhyped? Do you think he no. deserves the credit? No, nah, deserve, definitely deserves, deserves the, the credit. Whole thing, bro. Yeah, even the way. I agree. But even the way they get pressed from the back line, you know, last season where if you just press from the front, mm. they will explode. Like the ball mm. go back to Lloris, whatever. Vicario's comfortable on the ball. Van der Ven, ice cold. Even no Romero. keepers kept more clean sheets in the Prem than Vicario this season, bro. Even he, he pulled a, a quality save. Percentage. But he had a, he pulled a quality save as well towards the back uh, towards yeah, the end of the bad. game. For Charlton, I thought had a great great game. When I watched him, like, so, yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, he like, still can't. You know, he can't find like, the back of the net. Yeah, he can't, he can't find the back of the net. It must be a Brazilian shots, thing. Shots, it must shots. be a Brazilian thing because him and Hayes are exactly the same. We know what it is. It's the Belosi, name, you know, name, it's a tattoo. tattoo. <laughs> name, said, get rid of it. He hasn't been the same. But yeah, he, he's, you're right. But then for Brazil, he's scoring crazy no, goals in the World Cup. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah in the World Cup, he's got a. Oh, he got gas. But the World Cup is like, look at Enzo in the World Cup, bro. Look at look at Enzo in the World Cup. Like, World Cup yeah. is different stage, bro. Like you get, it's, it's a different stage. Different. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Enzo got a Your country well. and all of that, but yeah, oh yeah, he has, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, Blema. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I mean, Spurs doing really well. Yeah, amazing um, man. I want to see if Tottenham really change well. the way that they play. I want to see how he adapts if they do get the injuries. Yeah, yeah. that's mm-hmm. when you see uh, if a manager is really good. How good a manager is. Yeah, mm-hmm. but up until now. He's been pretty faultless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He's been good Undefeated, role. top of yeah. the league. People, what, what I like about him as well is how good of a communicator he is. You mm. know, how, like how normally comes across. And even it was England versus Australia recently. And if you see the video come out when he gave, because he was a former manager of the Australian national team. Mm. And they gave them like a little talk. And even that, I was like, damn, I was inspired. I was like, <laughs> I, I, I respect the guy, man. I respect yeah, the good. guy. Um, what vibe does he give you? What kind of, why? What four letter word? No, no, no. It's um, five minutes. The first name starts no, with bed. Or. It rhymes with bed. Is it not pop? Bed? Or yeah, it rhymes with bed. Yeah? The first oh, word? Yeah. How many oh, words are there? Oh, look, three. Oh, clock. Yeah. I thought you meant aura. Does it like last you, yeah, it gives you that type of vibes, doesn't it? <laughs> not, not in a stupid way. <laughs> not like... Just like vibes. Yeah, just like a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I... That's so what what think, he doesn't me. yell at players and that. You don't think so? No, nah, no. Nah, he he's not the kind of guy that has like a yeah. knee streak. No, nah, I don't think. Switch. I think he's not. Yeah, he can, but I don't think he's done that he yet. He hasn't need to. He hasn't yeah, need to. Yeah, I don't like think that time will come. He gives me. He gives me. In terms of motivating on that, like Jurgen Klopp. No, I hey, don't, 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 don't do that. In terms of in no, terms no, 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 no. Jurgen no, Klopp. I'm not, mo- I'm not saying he's better. He's, he's on par with Jurgen Klopp. I'm saying not. No way near. Nothing. The swag. The what he wears. Nothing's the same, fam. <laughs> no, I'm talking about garments. I'm talking about everything. Everything. You can't. Com- don't ever, ever put his name and Klopp's name in the same. Sentence, no, but he's bro. made like, like you said, sons flying. What does that mean? Do you think Tottenham pressed? Do you think Tottenham pressed the way that how Liverpool used to press? They can't. We had money and the money. Because Liverpool's press was a different type of press. I don't think but I think, but I think, I, but I think that's more person, Klopp's personal players than Ange. Mm. Like, we've only witnessed Ange bringing, what, two, three players of his own. So I, we're, I, we're I yet to see. Well, with Ange, the, only re- uh, the reason I give him such high praise and all that stuff is Tottenham sh- should never be in that position. They should never be seen top listen, of the table. Listen, listen, Tottenham after... Harry Kane leave, everyone thought... Eighth, ninth, are they chatting with Chelsea? Are they chatting with United? Tottenham yeah, after the first nine games of the season, most shots, most shots on target, most final third passes, most touches in the opposition box, most take-ons attempted, most ground rules won. I obviously already said Vicario, how well he's done, Van der Ven's 
Um, start, I mentioned at the start, and even no players created more chances this season than James Madison. Everything seems to be going well for them. Yeah. They are doing well. Having I give them credit. A good season so I far, just yeah. thought I thought they'd be shit, but they're not. Well, like, they're, mm. they're elite. Yeah. Well, how? Okay. Where do you think they'll finish though? Fourth. Because third off, anyone finish? Fourth. See? I think a lot of them stats come against that Luton game though. When Luton, <laughs> yeah, that Luton game was horrific, and even Tottenham with ten men was was pe- peppering them. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, man, and that only finished one 0 no. mm. You know what I mean? Um, you, Leas had Spurs as a surprise team before the season started. Yeah, and you were onto him. Yeah, you owe him an apology right now. Um, yeah, you have to go, need to go back to New York. How about that one? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, me and Philly did not give you that apology you want. Mm. That's the find a home, fam. Leas needs to find a home. That's the master by Chelsea in New York. He told me New Jersey, next Toronto, next, Toronto, 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 Toronto Connecticut. <laughs> like he's all over the place, bro. Find a home, find a base, fam. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? Find a base. One day he's saying he's Algerian, another day he's Canadian. Yeah, yeah, he's, French. He's, he's, like. He doesn't know what's going on, fam. He's <laughs> Confused, <laughs> confused little you. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Probably on Twitter right now debating about <laughs> Solly Montari. He sets an like alarm. <laughs> yeah, he sets an alarm for seven. Tell him about Leas's day. Leas's day. Wake up. This is Leas. Sleeping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the heck, guys? <laughs> oh my god. Manchester United lost a follower, bro. We lost 10 followers on Twitter, bro. Oh my God, no. No, I need to tweet about this, yo. <laughs> you know what? Yo, Fua, when we doing F- FTBL, man? When we doing FTBL, yo? We need to talk about the soccer game. Oh, sorry, the football game. Yeah, this is a mess, bro. Like, I don't know why. I can just envision like Leah shit. Yeah. Just, you know, you know how he said about his day? Yep. Side of his bed, he's got a bowl with like players' names in it. Yep. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He waits in for Christmas. He picks up and goes, <laughs> Carlos Villa. Like, man, I'm guy, Carlos Villa, what a player. And, oh, he spoons the football. He spoons the football to sleep. bro. That's it. 8 a.m. tweets about footballer. By 10 a.m., he's all knocked out two, two debates on Twitter. Yeah. He's got, he's, honestly, th- what was it? 3 p.m., he's had a wank. 4 p.m., like, it was coming up, man. I was going to say, by that time, over the, he was knocking out two the, different the, type the of things. Champions League final, 999. <laughs> yeah, he's all yeah, reminiscing yeah, yeah, about yeah, that. He watched, oh, my God. Teddy Sheridan? him? <laughs> What a player, <laughs> man. Yo. Oh. Uh, we love Leas, man. <laughs> yeah, Leas. Yeah, what a guy, man. What a character, man. Uh, Leas probably watching this right now. Yeah, what, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> what are we, guys, what are we doing here? Why, why are y'all on me like that? Bro? Sending a voice note to Kim Dempsey. Got, he's got me Yo. ready. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Dempsey, man. <laughs> Somebody's checked Leas' files. The, his meme files, okay? Not the, not, <laughs> not the other one. Not what uh, you thought I was talking about. Someone check his meme files because he's got forbidden <laughs> so much of them. It's mad. But speaking of Lias, we'll talk about my night next. Oh, away same story, same thing. I don't know what Season to say about Away from talk. home against Sheffield United. Hey, man, I got cooked when I when I said McTominay is, 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 the, is, is a good player for them, key player for them, you know? Score the first goal. I wouldn't to say. Hero. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he's really a key player. I would generally. I would generally say he's, he's all they got. He's the best. He's, 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 he's their best goal scorer in the club. Mm. Yeah. When you've got <laughs> Rasmus Hoyland, Marcus Rashford, it's like how am I as a Man United fan? And going, Bruno you know Fernandes what? as well, who should Bro, be a goal scorer. How am I as a Man United going? I don't know why. I just feel like McTominay will score. You know. Like, I, you're thinking Nunu, Gakpo, Jota, and then, Salah, and then he going McTominay. Diego Dalot, Luke Shaw. It is mad. Ah, that, uh, so or Levi was watching just, UFC. He, they could win. It doesn't matter. They can Fact. collect. Levi wasn't watching the game. Yeah, he was watching UFC. Yeah. I don't uh, feel like the defence has helped Man United in terms of what they have available. I feel like that game there, it was like, it was bad to watch, but it was just, Man United was playing <laughs> a low block defence and so was Sheffield United. And it was like, Everything was just like looking towards the wing play because if you look at both sides, both sides just wanted to whip the ball in. Yeah. But then that's and then look what happened. Anthony and Rashford both got dragged off in that game. Bro, Cameron I mean? Archer had a good game. Good player. Man United, I thought they're playing a throwback. Johnny Evans. Psst, Evans and Maguire. Bro, I Maguire got man in the match. I was in school yeah, when Johnny Evans played for Man United. Yeah. yeah. I don't think actually I was. But that's, <laughs> but that's <laughs> Harry Maguire. Low block. That's low block Harry Maguire. Bro, I was off. watching. I was watching the game. At, that was after the Chelsea Arsenal So I finished the Chelsea Arsenal game, mm. went to Chunks House to watch the UFC. And then we obviously it was the United game was on as well. And then Kyle, KGD, who doesn't even watch football, saw the TV, saw Johnny Evans and went, but he's still playing for my United. Doesn't he, like, and this guy doesn't watch football. He's like, 
I, like, I was in school, I was in college or whatever you just said, yeah. watch Johnny Evans, it's mad. And he signed on like a two month deal mm. just to be like an emergency. <laughs> so obviously they've got injuries. If the fact that they're playing Johnny Evans now, he's- I can imagine, what? I don't know why. I just, no, like, I the can first just thing imagine. he said was like, Johnny Evans, like what the hell's going on? Bro. He was so confused, if someone doesn't watch football. Imagine, imagine Leah's waking up just seeing Johnny Evans' message. <laughs> like, he's head of guard. He's yeah, head but Maguire, company. Maguire was man in the match mm. yeah, for United that Back game. Home, 100, 100 touches, yeah, Sheffield United, for, former. But uh, what, what, why is it, yeah? 100 touches, Manchester yeah. United, you know me, as a full time Man United hater, like, yeah. love them. I, I love seeing the Blues more than Arsenal. Oh, more. yeah, United and Chelsea for me, I'm happy. I love watching the Blues. So, right now, this era in football, right now, Arsenal doing so well, and United and Chelsea are both stinking. It's the best time for me as a football how, Okay, guys, mm. how many times have you heard every Man United from every game going, it's the best game, the best time, the best game they've ever played against us. Like everyone has the A game when they play Man United. Why is that? It's not the they case. Just, they just think. They just think. And, and it's true. Always leave and, and, with it's and if you don't agree as a United fan, then you're not a real United fan because you're Manchester United. You're Manchester United. And I know there's injuries and I, I feel for you because Lissandra Martin is, is injured. Luke Shaw he was shit is anyway. injured. You know, Rafa Varane's not playing. Like... Kobe Miner, who suddenly is a starter for you guys because he played against Arsenal really well in preseason, is injured. Uh, I've never um, understood that fetish. But, you know? but, but where is Marcus Rashford? One yeah. goal in 12 games, you know? And that's what I told you. It's, it's, it's where is Bruno Fernandes? Yeah. Bruno's, I feel a bit sorry for Bruno. Like, I feel sorry for him, but I'm saying like, how why? I need to why? You are. Where is Andre Onana? Oh, that brother with the high top. That guy there. We are playing shit. <laughs> we are playing shit. <laughs> Yeah, you guess the, yeah, you've but got the interview like this. Listen, eh? for what? The joke, fam. My United. Listen, Why you by, by the way, United won this game. We're talking right now like they lost. But yeah. we said it the feels same, like a loss. Because we said the same thing when Levan was here. It's performance over results. Yeah. These are these little wins. They're papering over a lot of cracks. Yes, you got to win. You're going to win games. You're going to you're going to win games here and yeah, there. You're not going to lose. You're not going to lose every single game. But there's just you look at my United and you're just like. What the hell is going on? And it's, it's, it's bro, imagine being a United fan, bro. You're waking up. You're like six days to the game, five days. Gets to game day, you're like. But then you watch the game, you're like, I've sat through it's this. So, it feels last dull. week, the week before, that, and now they're looking forward to the next. Because nothing's changing with their. Like I said, I think I feel like it's just at the moment because they just they've been looking for the wingers to be able to be that type of winger for so long, and they haven't found that replacement. Mm. garnacho has been brought in. You got Anthony, who was paid for big money. You've got Rashford, who's stinking up out wide. Do you understand? Goal scorer, yes, but in terms of performances out wide, no. And then obviously their midfield, obviously they've had to reinforce it with Amrabat coming in now because they don't have no one in there. Their squad's just like it, right now. I would rather be Chelsea than United. I would same. as well. Same, same. same I would as well. Same like that's and because we, if you look at both of them, United's above us at the moment. But like I'm like, would I rather be United or Chelsea right now? No, I'd rather. No, be Chelsea I'd rather be Chelsea as well. But yeah. I'm just saying, I wish we were a United fan here cause, uh, on the table because I don't want to yeah. unfairly grill them. This is not unfair. No, no, I don't think we are. I don't think we are. I don't think we are unfair. I'm looking at some of the changes. Okay, they so deserve the grilling. So you got they got Hoyland up front, and mm. and, I, and I'm, I haven't criticized Hoyland once. Big fan. I think he's a, I it's think, too early for I him. I, top, I feel bad for him. I think he's a top striker. You've seen already in the Champions League, he's doing really well for mm. them, right? But he's getting hooked in the 60th minute for Martial. Yeah. Like why? Let him play a lot longer. Let him, you know. Ten Hag is gonna get rushed. I don't understand. Someone's gonna one of the main players. They're gonna they're gonna rush him. They're gonna rush him. I don't understand. They have to. But it's like you said where. He won the game, but it's still that game was just a, enough, that game was a matter enough, of brilliance from outside the area because bro. it was going to take it because even when Rian Brewster came on, the space that, that they were getting in that kind of area, cutting inside from about 25, 30 yards, that was what it was. And even Onana nearly jumped out of the way of that shot as well. <laughs> he had to readjust himself to to stop that Rian Brewster shot. Like he, uh, for me, he's a bit dodgy as well. Yeah, he's in the, he's in the Spanish goalkeeper union. Well, he's yeah, as I said, bro. La Masia product, but mm. I don't know what it is with United, man. I'm like, we it's, haven't seen. I don't. Everything. I feel like we haven't seen a top performance from United in a while. They've had yeah. spells and like, in certain guys, games. That's come about it. On, yeah. Yeah. Thirty minutes against Spurs away from home. And, yeah, yeah. Of course, they're gonna have spells. They're gonna have moments, but. Their consistent narrative will be for now that they just don't have the players available. And That's all it will be. It's as you guys said. It's true though, they don't. But Wolves game, it was very telling because we everyone left that game going, Wolves should have won. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. A point was even, I would have looked at Wolves going, you picked up a point when I feel like you should have won three. Yeah. Mm. That's exactly. Haven't the Man United fans been booing when Scott McTominay has been getting hooked though? Huh? I thought I thought I heard like the Man United fans booing when Were Scott McTominay see? was coming off. Like, he came off he's same been time as Hoyle. Well, like, one of the better performers. Minutes in, yeah. I mean, I mean, when they, they brought Ericsson, Garnacho came on, they, yeah. they look they look bright yeah. from what I saw. But honestly, man, I just 
And the thing is, I don't know why I sound devastated. I, I don't. I don't you care don't want for United. I'm not a United fan, yeah. but as a football fan, and yeah. I hope United fans can agree with me or, or correct me. But this is not looking good, and I don't see a fix in a while. Mm. Maybe obviously if they, no, they won't they're, oh, they're obviously going to say, "Yo, listen, the injury list. Wan Bissaka got injured. Casemiro right now." Is when you're blaming injured. owners, the sound man is sure. Yeah, 100%. when you're not even you're not even blaming the team, you're blaming owners. Like, I'm not even going to look at Eric Ten Hag and go, you know what? He should get psyched. This is that because. It's the same. Mm. It's the same crap that happens. The a manager he's comes in. They're all, they're all just saving their ass, bro. Like they you can, know what I mean? He can never play the football he wants to mm. because he's always looking after his job. Because Man United is the biggest club, second biggest club in the world, biggest biggest cl- club in Europe. Yeah. I mean, in, in biggest club England. of all time, debatably with Real Madrid or whatever. No, that, I put Real Madrid ahead of first, If not first, they're second so or third. But second, yeah. But that's what why I'm I rated Wenger because Wenger found ways to deal with that crap over that kind of period of time with crap owners and crap teams and all that kind of stuff. Everything, all of that. Um, Marcus Rashford, like I just mentioned, mm. one goal in his last twelve games. Mm. He's obviously missing Luke Shaw pl- on the, on on that side uh, mm. where he's playing. He's played the Lindelof this game at left back, Reguilon before that. You know when he was fit, Malassia is changing, and um, the team obviously there's a lot of injuries. But is Mark? You, you guys disappointed, Marcus Rashford? He is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang for me. Okay, in a sense of. Everyone, Sean said it to me, Fuzzy said it to me back in the days. If, if you look up Pierre Aubameyang's game, if he doesn't add goals, what does he bring to the pitch? Mm. Because his work ethic is, be- is better than Marcus Rashford. Because you can even see Marcus Rashford's work ethic. But yeah, Aubameyang was chasing, yeah, chasing the ball. Where, defensive work. He was going he left knows, back. He knows, back. I, can I can't skip past plays. I can't do that. Mm. Whereas Marcus Rashford, he's such a gifted player. He's, got, he's fast. He's got quick feet. He can strike the Cleanly with his right, his left, mm. but I think it's just his IQ mentals. I don't know what it is. He got paid. He got he got rewarded for mm. last season. But even we were saying it was like Marcus Rashford. He's a moments player. Doesn't purple patch. Yeah, he do, not even purple patch. He's just a moments player yeah. where you don't. If you give him five minutes and he does something, fair enough. He might come out with a goal or assist. Mm. But when you totality wise, when you look at me like, oh shit. I've never been a Rashford fan still. And I don't understand how even he's getting the, the, the bring-ins to the... He, what, what, this is what scares me as well with the whole thing with Southgate. Is he going to then... Going into this next European Championship, that will, into the next Championships, Yep. is he going to start with um, Rashford at left wing? Well, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It should be It should be his spot. It should Locked. be. Locked down. It should be. But it wasn't in the World Cup. You know, mm. but, uh, so what, like Star said, if he doesn't bring out the moments, what is he doing? Because for me, England's winning the Euros. Never will Gareth Southgate. Me and Sean no. have said this from. Nah, I think this tournament. I think France this tournament. The Euros. I think this tournament is England's. But Rashford, if he wants that spot, it's not. It's, it's there for the taking. Anyone can take that spot, but mm. it should be. It and should the be thing about Gareth Southgate, obviously, I don't want to get onto him, but he doesn't reward players on form, bro. Mm. Unless someone pulls out, like Jared Bowen's been killing this season. Still can't get reward. Uh, Jack Grealish had to pull out for Zara Bro to get mm. a sniff. Calvin Phillips, he's done nothing. James Ward Prime's been elite this season. Mm. Can't get looking like it just mm. doesn't matter, bro. Like mm. even plays that are on form. So Rashford does it, so it's not the penalty. Rashford will get it. No, Rashford like if, Calvin, squad, if we look that. at Calvin Phillips now and we're like, will he get into Euros? On <laughs> let's run the table and say he'll get into Euros. Probably, yeah. Is and he won't play. Is this his bad runner str- is this his bad stretch of form? It's worse, well, yeah. worse I, I don't know, but one goal in 12. That's no, I remember bad. he it's went very, like a year and a half. Way more than bad. That's what I'm saying. But then that's what I'm saying. Then he had that last season where he had that patch of just crazy amount from of goals. December, from December, 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 December to March. That's what I'm saying. You can't be doing this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's inconsistency. It's, it's, this but is when your team needs that, that club, Manchester United, they're just... Yeah, man. I respect the United fans because they're finally now turned into how we look at the game as in like neutral fans that are not Man United in terms of they used to always ride out for the Brudos, the Rush when they're having poor games. But now they're like, you know what? Play Medri, play Garnacho. I'd rather see young kids that are hungry, that want to play for the badge. Mm. But that's right. when you know you're cl- that's when that you're is, done. That, yeah, that's yeah. when you're fully when yeah. you do stuff like that, that's when you know your club's done. Do you get? The men are done, bro. And I don't know what can help them. I'm being real. They can get rid of Ten Hag, who who they're gonna bring in. Yeah, it'll be the same manager won't change. It'll be the same stuff. It'll be the same stuff. It's gonna bro. be the same. You know, I don't know. I mean Ronaldo was right. He was, Maybe. but how can you say someone that arguably one of the one of the greatest player to ever play the sport? Yeah, he said stuff like this about Man United. I came here when I was eighteen, and it's still the same. It's this and that, brother. 
it's a problem. Mm-hmm. Ronaldo went to Piers Morgan and and spoke and told us all the issues about Manchester United. I love that, you know. Brother, that's a I problem. That. That's the worst. We ed- have to agree with him, fam. We have to be on Ronaldo's side. But like, you know what? The amount of joy you gave us in this sport, mm. we have to side with you. You're right. It's mm. not even that, because a lot of people made that into a uh, Ronaldo versus Ericsson Hogg situation. It wasn't that, though. Ericsson Hogg was killing that at that time. So now Man United fans say, nah, we're riding with Ericsson Hogg. No, but he was I'm talking not, about the owners and that. Hug. But... He was talking about the whole owners, the yeah. the, the gym, they didn't look at it like the they dinner. Didn't look at it the whole way, they looked at it as it's this guy. Why is Ronaldo not getting game? I'm happy time? now. I'm happy that he's got. Look how happy he is. Ronaldo's happy, fam. Oh, he's yeah. so he's, happy right now. If I'm correct, he's so he's, happy. He's, 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 I mean, he's the top goal scorer of this calendar year. Yeah, yeah. Forty seven like goals. 39 yeah, thirty nine or whatever. Obviously, Saudi. I don't care. I couldn't care less than Saudi Arabia. Just the fact. That He's there. He's, yeah. he's having fun. He's happy. He's got a smile on his face. Playing week in, week out. He's dancing. If, like, he's just gas, bro. They, 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 they had their main focus set on that Qatar takeover. That's what was so important for them to turn this whole club around. Right. To look now, to look now. Players. And now, look, Absolut gets is taking the Qatar flag off. Well, of is, that more, is, that, is that more? Is that more? Is that more? Is that more? United fans praying and wanting the Qatar owners. Yeah, they United did. Fa- the Liban, yeah. Liban called it Al Trafford, fam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's screaming Al Trafford <laughs> and HP. He's taking the Qatari flag down as well. Yeah, it's, man. Da- it's done. It's man. It's got done. too eager, man. But I don't know, man. United fans, let us know in the comments. Uh, we love it, though. We love it. Me and Sharks, we love it. Fuzzy loves it as well. Oh, Even Sean loves it. Oh, I love it. I love this. I love it, man. I live, but, I live on the spaces. You guys, I want, I want liquidation. <laughs> <laughs> but there are obviously as well, a lot of viewers who are watching who are United fans and obviously who aren't happy. And uh, I mean, I hope you understand if this was Arsenal or Liverpool going through stuff like times like this, you guys would be loving it as well. But I would love to hear what your take is, what the issue is and what could be changed. And if you're patient because you know there's injuries and you're waiting for your short Luke Shaw and Lissandra, just those two come back is a big change, you know? Mm. How you feel uh, that all will change. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. We definitely will be reading those and getting back to you. Uh, another game. Uh, two teams that have actually been doing pretty well this season, but one team has been doing even better. Aston Villa versus West Ham. Busy, the floor is yours. Claret and blue versus Claret and blue. Douglas Louise. You did judge with that one still. Because you I had him in for like four FBL, weeks. Yeah. yeah, I had him in from the beginning of the season. Bro. Yeah, yeah I mean, listen, Aston yeah. Villa, oh, Villa Una Emery and Aston Villa seem like a perfect match. I mean, yeah. That's and has done since he joined last it would, season. It would be, being a Villa fan now, it's an amazing thing. You season. know, me, Sharks, I see we experienced that. I remember in the chat, we used to say, Una Emery's world, and we're all living in it. We're all living in it. <laughs> it literally was And that. that's the Villa fans now. <laughs> yeah, right. saying Villa that. So guys, be careful. We might be in trap, man. He's turning into his own. So now Villa... Great, that's though. his level. Like, Sevilla. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he like turned into his own, Villa. man. That's his level. Right, yeah, but when you, st- when you don't see many components change, yet the team's change c- massively in yeah. terms of performances, that's when you know how good a manager's doing. Because... Mm. Diaby and Watkins up front at the moment. Obviously, Diaby's been a massive addition to the team, but sure. other than that, it's just Con- look at where Concer is winning the winning the penalty. Concer's yeah. nicking it like twenty five yards out. Mm. Mm. Uh, no, it, it was even closer than that. If he brings European silver to Villa, which I th- he's a, he's a master of, mm. yeah, like, it's mad. Europa League, this yeah. is, but it's conference. Can. This might be conference league. Same. It doesn't matter. It's still look yeah, at of course, yeah, for them. It's Europe. an amazing if thing. If he yeah. brings this to Villa, which mm. I think it could. Mm. That would be huge. Very uh, massive, bro. Very. And uh, yeah, I would, I would like to, to do well in that, in that thing. Sure, man. for sure. Nice. I, mean, I feel like I like watching Villa. Yeah, as well, yeah, like. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's good, man. They I'm happy. called Aston Villa. Ooh. Villa. Oh. It is. I mean, listen. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. <laughs> Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he probably calls it, isn't it? Um, but yeah, no, Aston Villa, listen. David Luiz double. Watkins in, on the score sheet again. Leon Bailey, like, coming on off the bench and scoring. Mm-hmm. I mean, their, their squad actually looks really, really strong. Ollie Watkins goal as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They took it. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's he one thing. He is dying for an England call up. When yeah, no, he needs to retire. Continue no, that like, form. When, when Harry Kane like, retires, Australia, yeah. Yeah. he get wants to plane. be that man up front once Harry Kane oh, retires. Get on that plane. Don't, plane. Bro, I don't Euros. Know what other continue. Side, like, he's half and half. I don't know what other half he is. <laughs> Enjoy your football, bro. As in, like, as in, like. Obviously, oh, it's like he's obviously mixed race. So just like, choose the other nationality. Have fun, bro, because you don't deserve hurricane. Yeah. Hurricane, you're not. Yeah. Har- no, just jumping that plane. Getting old, man. Injuries come no, to old guys, bro. That. Obviously, it's Bundesliga, but uh, Bundesliga is a yeah, quality league. This year, year. but and bear in mind, the, Euro, is the Euros is in Germany. Hurricane would be familiar with all the stadiums bro, in Europe. Honestly, yeah, but guy, man, he could, he could, he could play, he could play for Real Madrid. Like Faisal said it, he could play for Real Madrid. No, no, Faisal. Real Madrid said. 
Yeah, what, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? The Euros in what, Germany, like, Harry Kane knows the stadium. Harry Kane is here, you lot. Hey, Harry, don't go to that one though. That one don't flush properly. <laughs> Harry Kane knows the stadiums, man. Come on, man. Fun <laughs> fact. But the one, um, yeah, the one thing I give Una no. Emery big credit for is he's a striker whisper, bro. He, the best, the best Aubameyang Lacazette season he got that. Gerard Moreno at Villarreal. Mm. Mm. Ollie Watkins now. I think oh, who else was there? There was someone else that was he killed it for. Benteke. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, what? I was thinking like, <laughs> you guys just said John Karuna, man. Yeah. <laughs> nah. um, yeah. How old do you think man? Villa can do? Because they're currently in fifth. Uh, well done, man. They're, better, they're, they're a better club. They're a better club than Chelsea at this moment, Sam. Better club than United. Of course. They well, dominated well, the first half massively. But there was a 20 minute spell where West Ham got. Have you not played them yet? No. Mm. Not this season. Uh, you know, Henry couldn't touch the last but Newcastle season. played them and smoked them. Oh, they could touch our season. We yeah, had to score late. We had to go late. They, 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 we scored two, two late ahead, goals. That happens. Let's go late goals. We played them in uh, December away. Oh, is it? Oh, you're yeah. December oh, away. But they got back to back City and Arsenal home games. Is it? Yeah, back to oh. back oh, that's in good the same though. week, Tuesday and Saturday. As long as we're the Saturday game, I'm alright. We are. Good man. It's gonna be a tough week for them. December's tough for you guys as well. Why is that right? Why? Because you've got Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Bro. Um, but yeah, no, no. Villa, Villa obviously looking really good. Emery Emery looks like he, that's his team now. Yeah. Um, a, a Villa fan called Usmanu96 says, excellent performance by Villa again, who now won their 11th home win in a row. And mate, wow. for Aston Villa, do you know how massive that is? That's huge. So that must mean the last loss was against us. Yeah, because we beat them at their ground. We beat them at their ground. Yeah. So probably, yeah. Um, and they could have got a result there. I mean, we had to snatch it late. Uh, great performance by Paul Torres, who's given Villa new possibilities to play out from the back. Who was it that didn't rate Paul Torres? Was it Fuad, Fuad Kadani Dreads? Fuad, um, <laughs> yeah, Fuad. Uh, and, and Faisal saying he's a good player. Uh, yeah, but yeah, unlucky deflection goal because he did not his fault. Watkins' clinical finish and assist showed again why he is the second best striker in the Prem. Facts, facts. There's no, there's not really anyone else. Oh, there is a number, number nine. For yeah, two Liverpool. are at City already. And oh, and second best striker in the Prem. Yeah. Chain brother as well. Mm. It's like, mm. I mean, that second even Callum Wilson, oh, yeah, big, big, big striker up. for Chelsea. Big up Wilkes, <laughs> pick him up though. Big up Oli though. <laughs> huh? Big up oh, yeah, baby yeah. There you go. Big up Oli. Uh, he also says great performance by Kamara as well, who switched between CDM and third centre back when Villa were in possession. It's like the Mercedes, you know. Even though I didn't watch Marseille. <laughs> nah, but he was highly, very, very highly know, rated. Very highly rated. Very highly rated. And when they got him, I was kind of upset. I was like, damn, they got free agent as well. Yeah, for yeah. real. And what about Tillemans? Huh? What about Tillemans? Came on off the bench, Tillemans. Yeah. Yes, but he came on last five minutes. But he got an assist. Got an assist. You yeah. look like he was, apparently, some, there was, I was reading on Twitter, they were saying that he was unhappy with like, the amount of game time he's not been given. I'm pleased. You, 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 you could have been in the championship, bro. Humble yourself. You get You're fifth now. You could have been in the championship. Real. Could have been and in the Leicester top, 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 top flight. Like, doesn't, matter though. doesn't matter. You you rather be fifth in the Premier League than so top you are, in the you'd rather him play with the RB than like Mavididi. Steffi Mavzi. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather be playing uh, conference <laughs> league. Harry Winks in the yeah, midfield. Yeah, I'd rather be playing conference league than playing uh, FA Cup round two. Do you get? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do get it. Yeah. I'd uh, rather be in Europe, fam. But but what does this mean for West Ham? Obviously. And, uh, it and was loss, a blip. I'm a not gonna lie. Loss. They've been on a decent run. They've been doing well, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, have you guys played the last yet? loss was against Liverpool? Yeah, so but we played them. Um, we beat Villa and West Ham. We played them soon uh, in, the in the cup. We beat both. Oh, you played? You got them in the cup? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> in it. Yeah. Away. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, Why good luck? Home. You man ain't winning nothing this season, you know. I'm deep in it now. Uh, here. Why? Kind of, like, I'm. I'm just seeing what. What are you gonna win? What do you think you're gonna win? Champions Maybe League, Community Shield, Champions League, Community Shield. We already, yeah, won. We already won. Second. We already won Community Shield. Oh, so now, now it's a trophy, yeah? Remember, you said it was no, a now, now it's a trophy. You but for me, it's is that what we're talking about? It's a we plate. Won that. You want a plate? When we you won, it was plate. different. We you done said it, it was with a trophy. Nunes. But we done it with Nunes and that. <laughs> we beat the same team. Yeah, but now it's not. A tro- I saw. I, I deeped it. Now it's not really a trophy. So last season it was. It was like it was so the expiration date was last season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. I hear it still. You, gotta, you gotta have earned the right to actually play it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You gotta be a winner of something. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you might got it by default. Oh, sh- <laughs> what? You got it by default. Yeah, second you, league. Yeah, you gotta blame uh, Liverpool. The rules How? are the rules, bro. No, it's not the rules. But if you get it by default, it doesn't count. The rules are the rules. It doesn't count. The rules the are the rules. But uh, Champions League, I think, will do well. 
<laughs> finals at Wembley. Why not? You, you might you might be going. I'll be there. You you be there. He got Sevilla. But is you he will be Arsenal there. Shirt? Is he wearing an Arsenal shirt? But he's not wearing an Arsenal shirt. Okay, I hear mm. it. Is it Sevilla away next? Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, today when the yeah, video yeah, comes yeah. up. Today. Man. Yeah. Oh yeah, Champions League tomorrow. Yeah. He has to wait to wear. Tough, 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 tough. Yeah, we'll go wait for I'm excited about Europa League. Though. Like you gotta wait till weekend. Um <laughs> But yeah, I mean going back to this game, obviously West Ham, tough loss for them away from home. Um 55 Hems says this is a game, uh, this this game, we need to quickly move past. We just never got going. Uh, the only time we played well was for 15 minutes after Bowen's goal. So it was obviously too late. Uh, the shining stars in a dark sky were Bowen and James Ward-Prowse. I like the description. Yeah, I like that. Uh, they both yeah. played well and tried to pull us up. Fun fact, that goal was Bowen's 100th goal and makes him the third ever player in the Prem behind Thierry Henry and Mohamed Salah. Scoring five consistent away games. Oh, good company to be in. I mean, okay, that's good. That's cute. I get it. Also, but do you get it? Sawn, yeah, it's good to have you back. Sawn. Yeah. It's all these compliments, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's a good company to be in. Oh, God, we, we didn't, we, let's rewind a little bit and go back to Liverpool. <laughs> you heard Salah, you go back to Liverpool. Salah, that was what I witnessed yeah. was his 104th Anfield. 104th Anfield so goal. So I don't even have that in their careers. I'm saying Anfield goal, 104th, bro. Mad. That's a mad thing. Not striker. He don't play ST or CF. Mm-hmm. RW. Midfield. I knew you was going to look at me then. Inside, inside forward. Inside forward, man. <laughs> I am. Stop thinking about... The I am. Inside, he's, he's, not, he's a RW, bro. So nah, he's, yeah, a, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a midfielder winger. He's definitely revolt. revolt. He's not a striker. He's not a striker. How's that a striker? No, he's not a striker. That's what I'm saying. I'm backing you, bro. Yeah, that's he's what I'm definitely saying. like gone back towards further out wide still. 104 and goals years. at Anfield. Mm. Amazing. But yeah, um, proceed, Shocky. But yeah, I mean, you enjoyed the game, obviously. You saw Salah play. You said he wasn't packing. What does that mean? Men. <laughs> <bro. laughs> that's Men. mad. <laughs> Yo. As you sent me a message. If you say to him that he's out of the this match. This guy's an <laughs> AI editor, isn't it? Mad. I forgot, I I forgot he's there. He's Tim Z, bro. I don't know what that means, yeah, but yeah, okay. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what balls Massive. you're watching on the pitch. Uh, <laughs> 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 but, um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> listen, like crazy. listen, that was a good win for, for Villa. A couple, couple of facts. Douglas Luiz is the first Aston Villa player to score in six consecutive Premier League home games. My guy. That's, you've had him in FPL, so a lot My of points guy. your way. That's why you're top that's of our top, yeah. SDS yeah. League, which we'll mm-hmm. get into at the end of the episode. Um, three players have been directly involved in 10 plus Premier League goals this season. Mm-hmm. Salah, Haaland and Watkins. Um, Aston Villa have won 11 consecutive Premier League home matches, which we already said. Oli Watkins is the first player in Europe's five big divisions to score mm. five plus goals and provide five plus assists in the league this season. He done it last year. Mad, but he's, he's the first one to do it this I'm season. That's what I'm saying. I'm he's continuing it on, man. He's, I remember he's saying Chelsea should look at Oli Watkins. I got laughed at. He's the offense. He's a gooner. Well, I you should have got him. Those Good kind team. of strikers. Big gooner. You're um, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, yeah. He's. That second, bro. Who's start, who start from Madrid? Never mind Chelsea. Will I? Yeah, man. Well, uh, let's. I've got a couple games left. I think we've got about three, four games left. Uh, so we're gonna cover them. Bournemouth versus Wolves. Uh, obviously, this is um, a big game for Gary O'Neill. You know, coming to his former club, big statement, and he got the win away from home, two I one. Want you to ask who's, who the manager was there for Bournemouth that he replaced. Yeah. I've, I've seen yours. I've seen your areolas. <laughs> hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to stare at them for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make sure. Make sure you suck it. What? <laughs> hey, yo. Why? What made you go with that verse? What? Man, wow. You see Fizzy with a beard. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Let me get to the two-hour mark of the podcast. This is where we lose our heads. You know when you yeah. name club, when you say Bournemouth and them man. Oh, it's long. Go, 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 go. But, um, you know, Gary O'Neill. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me say something. No. I wasn't talking about Ariola's in that. Yeah, Gary yeah. O'Neill. You know why I love it? Yes. You know why I love stuff? He went back to his own, what you said. He plays yeah, against his old team. Yeah. And he got my man sacked. Hmm. Nah, apparently he's got a job till Burnley still. So. He's not sacked yet, but yeah. He's got to face Mega Man first well, before it happens. Let's be real, he's sacked. He's done. That's yeah, it. I mean, that he's last thing is, is he's finished, fam. That's it's not looking sack. good. Yeah, they're going to turn but it all, off But soon. after nine games, Pedro Neto, who was obviously your boy, has already equaled his best tally for a Premier League assist in the season, the whole season. He's got six assists already, nine games. Bro, is that it? It's, it's jo- six and nine. Assist. 
Bro, it's yeah, jarring, man. What's the Nunes one? Is <laughs> <laughs> he on more than six in nine games? It was a pretty what even game, though, that first off. Yeah. Yeah, but was that Bournemouth right? versus Wolves? Yeah. Red card changed a lot of it, man. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, it, it was an even game first off, but in terms of the second off, they, Wolves started straight after blocks. Before, That's the one when thing. they scored, and then the red card came a little bit afterwards, but Wolves were already on the ascendancy. Cunha and, and the Neto like, link up has yeah. been really good for them. Even Hwang Hee Chan. Yeah, he, he pops in with a couple here. I I, I do apologise. In the predictions, I did say Wolves were going down and it was stinking. Mm-hmm. And since the first game and now, like like yeah, you said, it's performance. They, 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 they play good yeah, football. They're not bad. But just they didn't get the result. But I think now it's starting to change a little bit. Yeah, well, they got the result. Yeah. yeah, they're in 12th place right now. Currently occupying that spot for Chelsea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but hey, listen, they <laughs> Three straight games, um, two wins and a draw in those three games. Tough games as well, bro. Mm. They beat yeah, City. They, they drew to uh, Villa. These are two top five teams. And now they beat Bournemouth away I from home. I remember Villa and Nick scored late as well, right? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. It was like running back-to-back goals. 53rd. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah. So it was a close yeah. game. And now even their next few fixtures aren't that hard. They're winnable. They've got Newcastle at home. Where at home, they beat City and drew to Villa. And they got Sheffield away. Then they got Spurs at home as well. So, you know, they can get a few more... Few more points. They finally game. got options going forward as well. Like you know, our last season they were banking on like Huang Hee Chan. Yep. That what's his name? Um, is it Fabio? Silva. Silva yeah. Whatever yeah. his name is. You know, those like inexperienced. Now, like you said, they've got Cunha. that. They got Cunha. Yeah. They got Huang. I like Cunha, man. Quality, bro. He's a. Oh, who would I say? He, he gives me like Man City vibes, man. Man's I don't think he'd ever touch Man City, but like that kind of play where I think he, I think his role will change. Gradually, man, where we play a Good bit. Player. I mean, he gave, he gave. Vi- I, it starts his vibes this, today's been shit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Everything he says is vibes. This, he gives me clock vibes. He gives me this vibe. It's been horrible Everything's vibes, wrong. man. Everything's, wrong. Everything's just, yeah. I'm so <laughs> confused. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to live with him for two weeks. It's mad. You're excited. Vibes. <laughs> What's the vibes going to be then? Uh, Ariola. Hey. <laughs> What's the vibes going to be like then? But, um, I mean, listen, big away win for Wolves. Big time. Um, it's not looking too good for Ariola. And it's upsetting because I had them before the season as my Sarge surprise package team. Mm. They're currently stuff, man. they're currently ninth with nineteenth without a win. They're going. They're going. Zero <laughs> wins in nine. They're yeah, it's not looking good for them. I mean, who would have thought you'd be as bad as Luton? Yeah. Worse. Luton's got a win. Luton actually. Luton is the team that you got. Luton, 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 Luton have a about. win and two draws. Luton know, aren't Luton. in relegation. They're eighteenth yeah. in it. They're not in relegation. They're seventeenth. Luton, Luton only just about got over the line against the ten man Wolves. Yeah, but I'm saying Luton are. And they're not. They're not in. But I remember the budget they had as well. They had, they had pff, five pounds, something like that. Five pounds. Yeah. I'm right. saying I don't know, but Luton on in relegation right now. But yeah. um, probably not. SN, who's our Wolves correspondent, sent in um, a paragraph. They a said one. going into the game, there was already cons- considerable pressure on Gary you know, to deliver a result against his former club, who got rid of him after what I thought was an impressive job of keeping Bournemouth out of relegation. Did a great job last season, obviously. Still lost a job. Unlike earlier this season, Gary O'Neill's substitutions were actually impactful in the game with Tommy Doyle coming on the pitch, changing the way we played and adding that technical presence in the midfield, which we lacked with Lamina being suspended. Alongside a substitution of uh, Kaladzic, who ended up scoring the winning goal late on off the back of a goalkeeping mistake from Neto, the Bournemouth goalkeeper. Great performance and mentality from the team and delighted to get the three points, especially with Newcastle next week, which I believe will end our three-game unbeaten streak, unfortunately. No high hopes from the Wolves fan against nah, Newcastle. Nah, I think I think, uh, I think they can get something. I think they'll beat Newcastle. I think they can get something there, man. I don't know, man. I think they can get. I something. I just feel like yeah, then you know what? And they're at home against uh, Newcastle. They'll pick up. If something. they don't go to St James's, yeah. they're at home. No, they'll, they'll pick up something, man. They've been solid at home. It's, it's, Villa it's, and, and Man City. It starts the agenda. It starts the agenda. It's the Eddie Howe agenda. No, 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 no. That's that's chilled a lot. It's chilled, yeah. Yeah, it's chilled a lot. I can't really get onto him now. This moment, he's turning it around now. Doing well. Pop PSG. Um. Uh, the Bomber fan, IDCDM11, says, Iriola in, is the first thing they Leaf. said. Um, There's no hiding how bad we are playing, making constant mistakes at the back and gifting the opposition goals every week. However, turning against the manager is unfair. The football he brings is brilliant when it works, but with our best centre-back being Lloyd Kelly, who can't use his feet, too many goals <laughs> are conceded. <laughs> Pedro was clearly the better Neto. Our Neto is making far too many mistakes and will be interesting to see him dropped against Burley next weekend. So, I mean, he's got hopes on uh, on the gaffer. On a Burnley. But just look at that squad. Not happy with that. That that Bournemouth squad is horrible, man. That starting lineup I saw that six years ago, bro. Mm. It needs to change. 
It's true. I mean, yeah, you're right. It's, it's, it's Philip Billing still playing. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, they had a good season last year. Obviously, Lewis Cook as well. I mean, he's yeah. Lewis Cook, I remember he was highly tight. Was it from Leeds? Yeah, he's still young. He's only 26 now. Yeah, yeah that's I thought he's been playing for ages. Yeah. How young was he when he was playing? Because mm. uh, he was like a yeah, like a big, big talent. Like he's only him, 26 Sam now. Byron, then, back yeah. Then. yeah, I mean. It's mad, and obviously they're back for Max Aaron's, who another one was highly tired. He's only twenty three. Yeah, Max, he just signed the season. I don't blame him. Yeah, we should have left Norwich when when everyone wanted him. I yeah. remember Bayern Munich was interested. Yeah, everyone wanted him. Big oh. money move. What? The left back. <laughs> Kirkes. Kirkes. No, who did you say everyone wanted him? Max Aaron's. Max Aaron's. Yeah. Right back. Right back. Oh, <laughs> right back. Yeah. yeah. I think we wanted him as well. Uh, for left back. <laughs> I think we wanted him. I think Spurs, he's went to go Spurs as well. No, no, no. What's going on I'm sure he played left back for Norwich, bro. No, he's a right back. Who was the left back for Norwich then? Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis, yeah. CBK. Is that, is that Lucas with not getting minutes? Mm. Yo, it's, uh, this guy. And you know Stout. what? We used to always cuss this guy's ball knowledge. We need to stop doing that, you know? Yeah. Hasib's <laughs> got knowledge, bro. It's just you that's cussing him. We used, no, we mean me, in the other WhatsApp group that he's not in. <laughs> <laughs> We still, we've got that. We need to stop doing that because he's actually. Stop. Um, all right, couple games left. Newcastle against Palace, four nil to Newcastle. Um, three of those goals from Steve Bruce's Newcastle players. Actually, you know they're turning up right now. The original. Yeah, give him his credit, man. Yeah, give Steve, Steve Bruce, Bruce some credit. Serious manager. You know, give him some credit. <laughs> I Long know staff, he, Wilson. When Murphy. Saudi came in, I know Steve Bruce was sweating. He was. He, he was, was thinking, this is a long day. Did you know what yeah. like, he came out with his interview? He said, he said, you know what, guys? I'm I'm going to leave myself. Like He literally handed in his own resume, is it? basically. Yeah. He had no choice, of course, fam. He said, yeah, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, Newcastle could have beat Arsenal 6-0. Probably more to do with the payout than anything else. Probably. Newcastle could have beat Man City 6-0. He still would have got sacked. Yeah, I mean, listen, his three of his players scored, I mean, Murphy, Longstaff and Wilson. You know, well, that sounds and so un- is like, uninspiring. That he's like McTominay, bro. He's getting, you yeah. know, he's reminds of McTominay. Just he's he's getting involved in the goals, but won't be there ha- for a long time. But doing yeah, their thing, yeah, now. for a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys see that long stuff thing oh, on long Twitter? Stuff. They were saying about he wanted to take a month off to go on holiday with his yeah, brother. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Wait, yeah. What? With his brother? He wanted to go on holiday for a month with his brother. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's <laughs> fake. I don't <laughs> know if it's fake. I don't know, yeah. I don't know if it's real fake. Tears. Isn't it? But What's yeah, this? he wanted a month off. I haven't seen it, but I, the only thing I saw was of his, was, was of his brother you know struggling to get back into professional football. With? He goes, "No, nah, I'm happy. I scored. I'm happy. I scored. I'm not taking that break." It came with an interview. To Where the- is Matt alongside? I remember he played against United. He's, 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 scored. he's not in professional football at the moment. Is he not? No. Not at Newcastle anymore. No, I remember that moment he had against Man United, didn't he? He scored against United, didn't he? Mm. Debut, mm. something like that. Well, he's not kicking ball. Made it sound like it was mental problems. I said, no, no, no. He just, I, I don't know what, I, I don't know what happened with him. But it, I saw the post the other day of him like saying that he'll be back in football. I think he was at some league. Yeah, he's league. a free agent right yeah, now. Maybe, well, like, like you said, leaving like a big club like that. He was, at, he was at, he was at a league, he was at a league team. I think it was, was at, I don't know if it was, man, was he in the conference is. or was he in League Two or something? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I don't know. To be fair, good point. I didn't even, I didn't even know he was. Yeah, I didn't even know he was a free agent. Yeah. I remember that moment he had that. What was it? Well, remember they were saying, he, how's, how's this guy on like 860 per week? And yeah. Play with like starting. Yeah, it was yeah. Man United on his debut. Mm. One nil win. Mm. Yeah. That's, I think he got an injury. And yeah, he's just no longer at the team. Yeah. He's trying to get back. That's what they were saying. What's your guys' thoughts on um, the fans applauding and like Eddie Howe wrapping his arm around Sanjay Talali at the end of the game? Oh yeah, the whole Tonali <laughs> thing as well. You know, see that? I'm here for the scandals, man. <laughs> it's an odd thing. Obviously, he came on here. off the bench. It looks like he might get a no, ban. He's not busting case. He's not busting case. Yeah, I'm telling he's you. He's in there with the Ivan he's Tony. Not, he's not. This is, this is the Premier League. It's not. It's, it's Fagioli, the player. He, what do you call it? Yeah. He got banned. He got done two years, I think. Mm. Two years. Because remember, he, 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 he must have cried when he sank. It was like 50 players <laughs> on the list. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what's his name? What's his name? Borella's in there. How do you understand this guy? I don't, I don't know. Borella's How do you mind understand? I didn't hear what he said. What do you mean? 50 players what? 50 players. Like, like Fagioli, yeah. he released 50 players that were involved in the bench. That, oh, he snitched. <laughs> <laughs> he snitched from his side. El Sorari came out crying. He goes, bro, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> they put me in this. I'm clean. Like I don't bet. I love football too much. <laughs> when they when they it's beat like, Monster it's this like week. Epstein's list, bro. It's crazy. Oh, that's that's mad. Mad. And what did Bad. Ivan Tony got back like that? Do you think? Or what, what do you think? Salah on the list. Oh, the, 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 I'm I'm going to court. It's oh, not him. Shit. It's not him. No way. No. My Salah. 
No, don't put my salad there. <laughs> but yeah, Tonali's uh, currently uh, still playing. He came on off the bench. But I don't know what That's I respect, I respect like. Ace Milan, you know? Because they knew this was going on. Because even the master, my, Tonali's the master. Tony, Tonali's the reason Fadjula got into the bench, you know? What like? What like? <laughs> well, like bro, he's brought the man in. He's head hunter then. He's head hunter. <laughs> and then Ace Milan coming up and said, Ace Milan, you nice. He's going to yeah. give you that 70 million. You know, seven. I didn't think they were going to get rid of it so quick. And we was all sitting there going, yeah. This is two three days. I didn't, didn't even want to. Tonali didn't even want to leave. It looked like. Wait, he so knew. He, like, yeah, he back in his head, he goes, yeah, "They caught me still. I got cut." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, go. But oh, um, on to the actual game. It oh, was yeah, a I big. I, I, I didn't watch the game. Bro. Yeah, I, yeah, watch, no, I don't no. watch Edit Our Ball unless they play. Obviously, we can't watch every single game. I watched the uh, Mansa Derby on uh, on like the early kickoff. Then I went to the Chelsea game. Then I watched the bit of the United game. Then obviously, I watched a little bit of the Villa game on a Sunday, and then watched the Spurs game here. That's a lot of games. So many other games I didn't watch, this being one of them. But it looked like an interesting game. It was 4 0. That's why I have some notes. Um, one thing I see said was Franca and Raksaki, both from um, Palace players, looked promising when they came on. Bit of, bit of a disaster from both Anderson and Guehi, which is rare. You know, they Ooh, didn't cover Gwehi. themselves in glory. Yeah. Um, we've got some analysis from Austin CF, CPFC. He's obviously a Crystal Palace fan. And I want to hear what he had to say because this team got absolutely smoked, it looks like. Uh, a loss was obviously expected. Yeah, that's what he says. But it's a shame that we basically admitted defeat before a ball was even kicked. We knew it was going to be a loss after that, uh, before that. Uh, gutless performance from almost everyone, to be honest. Two shots in the first half and 15 in the second. What's that about? Um, it's insane that nearly every game we don't turn up till the second half. No excuses on anything today. That was our best defence and best defensive midfield duo. Bad day at the office. Obviously, but they didn't do that well. Obviously, they had Quahey and Anderson, and then they had like Lerma, Hughes, and Lecure in the midfield. But I'm just looking at front three. I'm not gonna lie. Let's no, no, at least let me read no, this front it? three. I know it must be dreadful. Are you? Mm-hmm. Mateta mm-hmm. and Edward. That, 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 that is, is not that is not three. that is not black excellence at all. Not in the slightest. <laughs> well, like. that, that life after Zaha and now Alicia and Eze not being available is is dreadful for them still. Mad in it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not. This good. is crazy. So, oh yeah, because no, I feel sorry for Eze's injury. Joe Ward's right back. Yeah. I've that criminal. He's on that list for Chris Wood. <laughs> How he's nicking a living? I could. He's not a legend. Well, KGD might actually see him on the TV yeah, and might say, "Oh, fuck it. I, I remember him Joe as well." Joe Ward, yeah, Joe Ward and Renee Evans, man, they're playing the same time. Joe Ward, well, I then then you're looking at Crystal Palace. Might not be a Crystal Palace going. Sit the Joe Ward guy. You know that back, back on was on the bench. Nathaniel Kleiny. Nathaniel Kleiny. Mental. You tell me how that's not inspiring. And Rob Holdings on the bench for Palace. Bobby Bolden. You can't get in ahead of Anderson and Quinn. Bobby Bolden. I've never heard that one. <laughs> that uh, guy. How? To be honest, though, actually, he went to the wrong club, man. <laughs> you see that announcement? He's an the best of square, just with the posters. <laughs> Well, that was like, the weirdest announcement. The only time cameras are on him because he's not on the pitch. That was the weirdest <laughs> announcement. Oh my but yeah, four 0 Newcastle. <laughs> Anything you want to say on that game? Their manager is Roy Hodgson. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what he witnessed in this in his lifetime? Legend, by the way. Do you know what he witnessed? What Do you know what he witnessed? He witnessed the plague. Mm. <laughs> what? He witnessed the plague. Uh, he uh-huh. saw the bit when there was a rat crisis in London. This is Liverpool manager, ex Liverpool manager. <laughs> he nearly. You saw what he done. To, my club had to go to court because they were about to get an ad- ad- administration. Okay. And we had Roy Hodgson. That's the Paul Koncheski, Voronin, Milinovic. Paul that Koncheski. kind of sounds, isn't it? <laughs> Voronin was wearing the number 10 shirt. Yep. Rightfully so. This is Straight after England Luis Garcia. <laughs> this is Inter Milan manager. Yep. This is the man who took Fulham to Europa League final. Fam, they had this man the got offered a lifetime contract by Malmo. Mm. That's Malmo, fam. Come this on, is a fam. legend. Mm. Swedish. Listen to this. <laughs> showing off that I need all Swedish. That's why. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Swedish. But I need to know why though. Capped, fam. I saw an interview like two days ago. Yeah. I saw an interview yesterday, the other, like two days ago. Um, Berahino. You yes. might remember Berahino. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I saw, Sido. Yeah. He's I saw an interview and he was talking about how he went to the England camp yeah. when he got picked to go to the squad. Roy Hudson said, yeah, you man, bring your gal. Real guy. What? Real and dog. Then? Yeah, okay, I hear cool. it still. For what? Like motivational purposes. Just bring your things, fam. Okay. Well, any John, any John. Bring why if you bring this, fam. Man, we'll bring it, fam. You're gonna lose your mind, fam. If a man, if you're single, you're gonna you get. Yeah. You get. It. Yeah, yeah, I hear. That's when I. What manager and a right man says that, bro? In the training camp. Mm. 
Like, you're meant to be professional. Yeah. Bring the gallon. This guy doesn't know But then again, but then again. It doesn't motivate nothing. What happened to the England team, fam, with Bro Hodgson? We lost to uh, Latvia, right? Was it Latvia or Finland? No, Iceland. Iceland, Iceland. 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 yeah. So we're all panicking at the table now. It was oh. doing well, you know. I wasn't going to lie. 11th, you know. You know the, that's, the, that is Crystal Palace. Uh, uh, yeah. the, the, it's just a bad game against a very good club, man. Yeah, bro. Like, I, Anthony I, Gordon as well. Like <laughs> They were going to rotate with Harvey Barnes and stuff like that. They but. beat United at Old Trafford. Yeah. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? Rosen, in the summer, he's cold. <laughs> <laughs> he reads Long John's in the summer. <laughs> Oh, Come this. On, this. Your, your club's got nothing, man. Oh, man. I've been there. I've seen it happen. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. I've seen. I know what Crystal Palace fans are feeling right yeah, now. Yeah, man. It's but long. I mean, I mean, listen. They're they're, they're right. They're, they're having an okay start right. to the season. Yeah. It doesn't matter, man. This guy. Come on, man. He just he's seventy five. Has to go into change room. Listen to drill. I respect that though. What if he likes it? He doesn't know what's going on, fam. It's just instrumental to him. <laughs> Nah, man, he's he's yeah, yeah. okay, but this I this game he's like he's not got the best two best players in the in the team, man. Bro, man, come on, man. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? No, he's look, he's in the front three. No, 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 Eze Olise, bro. Yeah, Eze and Olise is not playing. Why did Olise stay? <laughs> sign a contract. We tried to sign him, innit? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah, they nah, got scared. I'm, I'm said, not nah, doing nah, that, nah, nah, man. Mm, mm, mm. Um, all right, let's move on. Brentford versus Burnley, another mm. comfortable win. That was Brentford, Elias masterclass. Three nil. Yeah, three nil. Elias masterclass. Elias slash Embuemo had a great performance. Uh, Brentford haven't started off very well. We're talking about Palace just now. Palace are three places <laughs> above Brentford. It doesn't matter. Though. Are below Palace, bro. It doesn't matter. When you and have Roy, H- Roy Hodgson and them, man. What about Thomas Frank? That's tactical but genius. This is Palace's Thomas Frank's first good. win. I like Frank. This is Palace's first win since the second game of the season. Palace's Brentford, first win. Brentford. Brentford. I'm a Palace. Brentford. It's Brentford. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> It's but Brentford's, Brentford's run of games have been have uh, been tricky though. The, uh, who, yeah, I mean, what's their what's their games been? They just played uh, yeah, United just now. lost to Everton away. They just uni- yeah, they played no, United. No, <laughs> you <laughs> like to pick. You like to pick. Yeah, no, but it's true man. though. In that run, they lost to Everton at home three one. They lost to Arsenal at home. Mm. They lost to uh, United. They drew to Nottingham Forest. They couldn't beat Bournemouth. Mm. You know, so it's listen. It's things can change for them. Here. They're waiting for January. But here they got their big three 0 win against Burnley. With Elias Wren, both did well. <laughs> Great link up. Yep, Wissa and and um, and Buemo. And the thing is, African Cup of Nations around the corner. Yeah, both yeah. of them are gone. Yeah. Both of them are gone. That's what I'm saying. But we have to see what Ivan Tony's saying, isn't it? He's cutting, bro. He's, he's cutting. He came out. In cutting. Interview, you know, Ivan Tony is not staying. He's smiling. He's just <laughs> Where's he going? Do you reckon? <sighs> well, what? what's that mean? He's a Liverpool fan. Yeah. Now you know, got too many forwards. We've got too many forwards. Yeah. Yeah. So Arsenal, Chelsea. Yeah. We're gonna be tired of Tito Jackson, by the way. It'll be good still. I want to see him uh, in a big club and see. Yeah, him. I, I mean, think you go Chelsea for the bag. Arsenal. Yeah. To I don't think I don't think he'll go. Chelsea. Yeah, win, 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 win a, win a no, play. Compete. I don't see trophies as a yeah. compete. I think he'll go somewhere. He he knows in, uh, potentially he could become the man here. But in this game, there was another red card. There's quite a few red cards this week. Yeah. Obviously, Lewis Cook. We didn't even mention that. Um, a serious headbutt from Lewis Cook. Was it a headbutt? I didn't even see it. Serious headbutt. It? Damn. Like, just grazed his nose. We didn't even. Oh, <laughs> them ones. <laughs> We didn't even mention, was it a country that got sent off? Yeah, it was City? a nice. I hate his braids as well. <laughs> well I hate his braids. And then in this game, Connor Roberts got sent off for Burnley. And fun fact, actually, in only nine games, Burnley, under Vincent Company, have received more red cards than Sean Dyche has ever had in a single season. Who's yeah, because manager? Burnley was the least. Vincent Who's Company. Burnley's manager. Company. Burnley had so sent it back. Fuzzy, uh, what happened to you? He's going to teach you how to get red cards. But Fuzzy, what happened to what? dominating championships? How many red cards did you get for Man City, this guy? I don't Vincent. know. I, I don't remember him getting loads. He got right, the most. Bur- he got Burnley the most. He's the one that was rarely scoring goal like that. Yeah. Burnley yeah, had one of the best decisions. But his goal, yeah. that strike, whew, Crazy. can't remember that. Yeah, that solidified. Uh, you say saying Sean Burnley what? No, I said Burnley had one of the best disciplinary records for the past God knows how long. Yeah. yeah now nine yeah. games, they've got more red cards than Dash ever managed in a single yeah. season for Burnley. Yeah. Yeah, worrying. Bro, you they know? tried to bring that pet football, brought it to the championship. Doesn't work in the Premier mm. Came here, thought, let me just bring a couple of youths, some wash players. See what I can do with it. Still play my football. It hey, don't work like that. Nah, not this league. Mm. Don't work like you that. You gotta play the Sean Dyche football at the start and then get into your games. Mm. Yeah, I mean you're right. I mean they just don't have that experience in that team, that Premier League experience. I'm looking at their team, not a single name played Sand- in the Premier League. Like Sander Burge. Game. But apart Same from that, Roberts. That's it. You know, apart from that, and uh, to answer your question, company only had only got one red card in the Premier League. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. That's Nunu's a lot. got one, I know. One red yeah, card. Same as Nunu. Same as Nunu. You're forgetting about the yellows in that. You asked me for reds. And the potential red cards. 
<laughs> but there's a lot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta add them up. You gotta add, add them. They all count as one, fam. There was um, no VAR at his time. But listen, Brentford got their win. What is it about Brentford this season? Wing play. Okay. Mm. Well, you're. Mm. Mm. They, put, they put in a lot. They, Mo they, and Buemo. They got a high shot rate. Yeah. High shot rate. High com- high crossing rate. Mm. They, they use their width play well. They play. They play like a bit of a five now. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It's for me. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, Brentford. I just feel like. And Buemo and Wisa like too much pressure, man. Mm. The the amount of stuff like Tony was like Kane in it. He was a f- assistant, creator, yeah, goal scorer, the whole thing. Now they're telling him Buemo, okay, cool. All all our focus now today is we're just focusing on you, Buemo. Mm-hmm. You g- if you, if we if we take you out of the game, you Brentford are not beating us. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wisa, he's instant impact. He's mm-hmm. not a he's not a starting st- uh, Premier League striker. Oh, I couldn't care less if he gets twelve goals. How many? He's done pretty well this season, though, hasn't he? Just like Rin and well, SDS. Well, four goal involvements in nine games. Has Three goals, one assist. Has Rico Henry been doing all right this season? Towards ACL. Yeah, he's Is been injured. It? Yeah, he's been that's injured. Just, that's even more credit to them. Yeah, because that's obviously a, a, a key player for the weeks fullback. Mm. Yeah, but they've had to play Yano <laughs> at left back. Mm. Vitali. Oh, he's a left back. I thought he was more of a midfielder. You know what kills me about Yano? Interesting. Yeah, go on. If you, he's from an odd country. Like Germany. Yeah, from his, yeah, from his name to what, is, what country he represents. It's completely different. <laughs> you know that. Uh, you're all over the place today. <laughs> vibes. That's a fun fact. No, no, no. You Why? Know I'm laughing. Because I thought he was... It's vibes. It's I thought he he's was... He's on German vibes now. Czech Republic. Mm. Slovakia. Yeah. Italian. Yeah. So Denmark. Let's give it that name, innit? But yeah. I don't Norwegian. know. Norwegian. It was in Germany. Yeah. Germany, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you that. Fikayo Tamori plays England. That's different. That's different. That's different. That's different. That's different. I know what you mean. I wouldn't guess German as well. Never, never you know what I'm still laughing at? When he said, what did you say about Wissa again? Yeah, he's he's not a starting quality striker in the place. And what did you, who did you say Wissa look, look, reminds you of? Who does he look like? Uh, Ren. Oh. Yeah. What? <laughs> you men are slow. What? Ren's not, Ren's not a star. STS, what are you trying to say? Oh! Is that what you're trying to say? Did you get I didn't try, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but you man took long to laugh, fam. <laughs> Sorry, bro, man. <laughs> Sorry, bro, man. Uh, let's hear from Keenan Lowe, who's a Brentford <laughs> fan. Uh, let's see what he's got to say about the 3-0 win. So as the Bees are finally back to winning ways, and although Burnley isn't the best the Prem has to offer, it was a match that Brentford absolutely <laughs> had to win. Burnley definitely had some opportunities, but Brentford being able to keep a clean sheet shows a higher level of focus than we have seen in recent weeks. And the front three really seemed to click today in attack. Also says, <laughs> the bees, what's funny? I'm not going to lie to you. you know, the, I, I respect it because we're like, he's trying to get anything in it. He's, trying to, he's leaving it with something. Yeah. Yeah. It's Burnley. Yeah, like, but like, he said it. Everyone's said going it. to Burnley, get some. He said it, and he also... SDS squad going to Burnley, also get some. Yeah, like, it happens, also says the Bees <laughs> will have to take some momentum from this match into a very rough upcoming month of fixtures. Brentford will do well to distance themselves from the bottom, bottom of the table sooner rather than later as several of their key players, slash key Wissa and Boma, will probably be missing part of the season for AFCON. And that combined with the team's current injuries could put them in a tough situation this season. I'm not even tough situation. Relegation. Just say it. Brentford, you reckon? Just say it. If we set and, and Bummer go in January, mm. that's relegation, brother. <laughs> You've lost your whole attack. Mm-hmm. No they Tony, the, no Wissa, no Fingy. Still. They need the points yeah, now. Yeah, get, You're you relying you? on who? I think Candice has already left that. Godos. Uh, Kevin Shad. Is it Shard, Kevin Shad? Shad, Shad, yeah. Shad, yeah. whatever. Yeah. How are you going to pronounce um, it? Shad. Shad, yeah, Kevin yeah, But yeah, I don't know. I mean, good win for Brentford, but let's get into the final game of the week. Yeah, so the final game is obviously Nottingham Forest versus Luton in the 2-2 draw. Start off with one word. No, not one word. Two words. A name. Good job, Chris man. Wood. Head Turner. Head Turner. Yeah. Everyone had Everyone's, a lot of fancy. Yeah, words. I was crying. Everyone said, yeah, they we're leaving it. Guaranteed clean sheet for Matt <laughs> Turner. Guaranteed clean yeah. sheet. Chris Wood. Oh, my Lord. That's your Like the brace. That's your guy. I respect it because it's a tough league. Mm-hmm. But he had about eight one ones. <laughs> if you watch, I don't watch the game because you're trying to watch Chris Wood play up front. It doesn't what change the way that they play football, Forest. It doesn't matter who plays up front, even though they're two different. Pro- like I think it, one is much more clinical than. I think. Oh, come on, I think it's you're the being style, harsh on Chris Wood. Yeah. Never, you know? never, been, never, never. I think you've been harsh, Chris, because never, never, he never. got he, he had he had he got no, two goals. He had a good, you know, I'm not denying. XG was 1.75, so oh, well, no, well, I mm. just he had, a, he had a, he had a good game. But you know how like shots on target four scored two. But you know like that's fine. You know yeah. like Fuzzy, he's, the, he's a stat guy person. He likes reading stats. Yeah. Me and you, I test. Yeah, yeah. Mm. If you watch his highlights, what stats are you talking about, bro? 
See, that's how you get into the conversation. What stats did you talk about? I like to read stats. <laughs> you tell me. I told you. you I don't, no, I don't, I'm not a player of stats. I play of science, man. Yeah? I, I look at football from a science aspect. Okay. Mm. Give us an example. Arsenal will fall off in November. November. Oh, that's and we're very coming similar. up to November. They drew against Chelsea, which was lucky that they got a, you guys got a point. Mm. Now November's coming, and this is where you see, oh yeah, we're not we're not fighting for this league this scientifically season. Scientifically proven. It's scientifically proven. Everything I do is science. When I told you you're not going to win the league, when City's behind you, would mm. you hear? Everything I do is science. I base off science. I'm not stats. I don't do the stats and and the field tilt and all of these things. I'm you and my brother toes will get along. Both scientifically proven. That's mm. it. But can I ask yeah. a question? <laughs> science, bro. <laughs> so tweets. Can you bring your science to Nottingham Forest versus Luton Town? Because that's the science I want to hear. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like the guy that said the world's flat. Mm. That game. Or these these two teams. Mm. Do you, what's the guy that said the world's flat? Charles Darwin. Do you know what year he was this born? The, huh? do, you know, do you know what year <laughs> he was born? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know. These two teams? <laughs> Let's be real, fam. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know where this is going. It's science, fam. <laughs> I'm asking about They're both got Nottingham it Forest was, fans it, and Luton fans right now it, eagerly it, listening. I know. And I'm going to be real. Nottingham Forest and Luton, <laughs> it was failure versus failure. <laughs> it was failure versus failure. Yeah. It's like 2-2. Two, two, it was failure versus failure. All right. And it's so they're so bad that look what Stars are saying about Chris Wood. He scored two goals. This is what you're meant to give a guy credit. Yeah, he's exactly. saying he's the worst player I've ever seen. No, but I've said that. He I've just has that agenda. That one, you know, you guys talk about science. That, that one's scientifically proven. But what? Gibbs White, Gibbs White, in this system is a. Li- Forest ain't that bad, you know. They're not. For, yeah. Forest are decent. But if I was you, I'd be playing like for that shirt to leave. Gonna, I'm playing to leave. He's like that. He's I'm like playing that to leave. No, no. Alanga both assists, by the way. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's looking quality. But that's why the, the, the type of striker, at, the type of striker yeah. they got there. Yeah, 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 if a one is not available, Chris Wood is the same kind of profile. That's why they, it's like you know some teams have two oh. different kind of things. Yeah, they like play profile. You say not profile. Same player. No, no uh, but profile of, of yeah. the because like target man, like they, they target play, man. they play like crossing watching, football. Watching a one you play, he is rapid, bro. No, I know Chris that. Chris in behind is nowhere near. Yeah, he might not have the in behind, but like there's a lot of aspects of their game crossing wise where they 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 get from him. Do you understand? So he's got a groin injury at one year. But their defense was horrible though for them two goals. It was terrible. <laughs> well, where, like, you go, where you go? Where you go with like, it? Because he killed me last week. He killed me on fantasy, man. That's why I was like. <laughs> you lot <laughs> and the fantasy, man. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. did, did you see fantasy. the goals that they conceded though? Oh, yeah. Yeah. it was dreadful. Man. Late goals as well. Two the, late goals. The, the free Luton. kick and the, the the ball that came in was horrible anyway. Yeah. But it was just like it, oh, Benny scored the first one, right? Yeah, but the ball yeah. in was was horrible. And I had a bio for ninety seconds. Oh, that was an awful one. The defending mm. for that goal was <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> Mess. Someone ducked. He just let him turn on him. Yeah, like someone ducked, mm. came into it, hit his chest. He was chasing. Luton Lu- 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 was chasing after the ball, and they said, mm. "Oh, sugar, I'm next to the goal." Yeah. It was just like head turn is like you know what you know me. I like staying on my line. Don't yeah. like no starts bleeding if I come further out. Yep. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't a good. What my phone? He's good when it comes to crosses still. Who's this? Adibayo. Mm-hmm. He's good in the air, man. Mm. Good in the air, in aerial threat, everything. I like him still. Mm. I like that. I like that. I respect yeah. that, you know. Luton, you've been watching them so far this season? Yeah, quite a few times. Only because I want to see, like, stadium. I'm fascinated <laughs> and stuff What's like that. stadium called? <sighs> I'm trying to go as well. I guess Arsenal. What, are you trying to go there? Yeah. Why? Well, you want to see people? You want to see people in their gardens? I want to. Yeah, just I want. I want to experience that. Yeah. That game. Uh, horrible. You avoided my question, though. No, I never. What's the stadium called? I don't care about the stadium. <laughs> you just said you mentioned this. That you don't. You don't boy up. What the stadium? What's the, the houses? It's called. Uh, there's houses that are on there. Kennel. Kennelworth. Kennelworth. Kennel. Kennel something. Yeah. Kennelworth. Kennel something. See, we're in the same boat. We're in the same boat. But you want to come to me? I asked you. Stars. Arc stars. Arc Ken- stars. Kennelworth Road. I was right. See. Yeah. That's the name of the road. Yeah, that's the stadium name. I was like, Kennington. Crazy. 10,000 capacity. 10. That's horrible. Yeah. Market road. Market, yeah, basically. Basically. But listen, they got a point. To be fair, people were saying they're not going to get nothing this season. They've got yeah, yeah. the yeah. biggest oh, surprise for people. They're winning two draws already. Yeah, bro, people, they surprised me. I thought yeah. there was literally, they can't kick ball. Like, mm. literally, just the championship side. I think that, they're I dreadful, know. you know. I don't think so. I think that bozos, but they have mo- they have good moments. Oh, they haven't been spanked once. They, oh, they, no, they've you, not lost by one or one goal. So all the losses was not, Sheffield not United. Team you look at, we go, Bro, hey, they've not mm. lost by more than one goal any, by any against anyone. Okay, they, they've they, uh, four of their five 
points have been away from home. Okay, Tottenham, they played, they were playing 10 men. Wolves, they beat, they had 10 men. Wolves should have popped them. The yeah. weekend, the goals that they scored were horrible defending. Well, that's, that, that's, yeah, but give, that's from... That's let them play, play a Forrest. big team, bro. They, they, they're I mean, they got Liverpool soon. coming up in a couple yeah, weeks. That's, that's long. What, what, Villa, what, what, they, what they? Wait, they got Villa, what Liverpool, they, United. What day have they got us? Fifth of November. So oh, we're not going to be here. You can you're locked in. Oh, oh, right, that's no. when I was going to do my triple captain. <laughs> oh, I was no. saving it for Luton. Oh yeah, who's in the house, house, man. Sorry. That's mad. Who, Sorry, who are you designating your fantasy team to? I don't know. Someone I can trust. Definitely oh, no, actually, no one here. I, I, I stand corrected. They did lose by more than one goal. Yeah, and now it's Luton. Chelsea, yeah, Luton and Chelsea. But as in, I meant like. From September exactly onwards. What I was saying. Yeah. From September onwards. September onwards, yeah. Them capping stats, like, oh yeah, if yeah, a player yeah. has played more than 750 minutes and there's only like two players that's played over. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course, of course. <laughs> nah, nah. But to be fair, I, mean, I was looking at from I was looking at my, my phone on the show from September onwards and I'm like, okay, mm. they lost to West Ham 2-1, lost to Fulham 1-0, mm. lost to Burnley 2-1, lost to Spurs 1-0. And uh, so they've been they've been okay. Obviously, it's looting and they're not gonna be that good. But um, but yeah, I mean that was the game 2-2. Uh, obviously, massive point for Luton. Uh playing Forest away is obviously tough. Which we will know as Liverpool lost their last season. Um, and yeah, Luton are now a point above the relegation zone. <laughs> uh, and if they stay up, it is magical. Do you think they'll stay up? Who, Luton? Yeah. No, no, no chance. Really no chance? No, no chance? Yeah. Not in the Forest, but Champions League. Certain men haven't even seen that in the table. <sighs> Certain men ain't even seen a Champions League. This is my favourite part of the show, guys. It is time to go into the FPL. Um, obviously you guys know we are playing we're all actively playing Fancy Premier League it's been mentioned a few times on the episode today we have an SDS uh, FPL League which it, which has um, all the SDS members plus the crew there's 13 people in there um, I usually talk about the guys that are on the table and actually funnily enough it's the first time first, second and third place are all here on the table um, no I hear it I'm just kind of upset I'm devastated. I, I've been first for how many weeks? I'm third now. You two are both. Can you actually check? I want to see. I want to see. Damn, you can't. What? I want to see how many times, like, you've been first, second, third. Oh, oh you can't, but I've been first time. for ages. I was um, first for a minute as well. Yeah, yeah, apparently, Facebook is never first. Uh, so, currently, for Wizards is first in our league. Very smashing it. 597 points overall. You had a great week. 95 points. Douglas Louise came clutch for you. Salah captain. Even Watkins you had, I think. I uh, know you know Bowen. No. Bowen scored yeah, for I you. Bowen, yeah. You know, well done, man. Yeah, oh, thank they you. say you don't know ball, but you're it's flying. They say I don't know ball, but the people that allegedly know ball, where are they? Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you where they are. Where's the man? Where's Leah? 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 Elias 13th. Yeah, Elias rock bottom. Elias, Elias had a 30 point. Like What's that. he on? How many points are on that? 400 still? 457. Oh, grow up, man. 457. Uh, That's my horrible. third week. Horrible. I was game week three. Horrible, horrible. And so my fi- I'm on 573. Where so would I be? So you're 573. So if you were in this league, you would be above me. So we'll be the top four. So I'll be fourth. Don't we'll put me with you lot. I don't like when you guys we'll do that. <laughs> I don't huh? like when you say, oh, yeah, top three, top four. Stop doing that. Let's just focus on who's top. No, I'm just saying. This you lot fight this, for this each other's position. Four. I don't want to argue um, with any of you lot. But uh, like, it's not even like one point difference. It's like 50 points. Yeah, now nah, you're doing well. Like, uh, I don't want to talk about skip. But, but guess what? You're going in the house it for doesn't, two weeks. It doesn't, your phone. But this is why this is perfect. Because I made a fat gap. I left a fat gap. You don't even know what I got underneath my seat. <laughs> I made a fat gap, fam. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> I am top week nine and none of you lot are going to see that again. All right, the only right. thing I'm happy with is I haven't used none of my... Neither have I. So Neither have I. Get really loud. And where are you? Second. Nowhere near me. I was top, I was top yeah, last Nowhere week. Nowhere near... You would, that last week. Come on, fam. What happened last week? Bare things happened, bro. International break. Exactly. Who did you captain this week? Childish, he's a childish well, youth, fam. Up, well, I up. Did you have captain? Childish. Martinelli. Harlan, Harlan, but I, had, yeah, I, I changed it. Yeah, oh, you lot had... Oh, come on, man. Grow I, up, I, man. I'd sell, I'd sell it to If you know, if if you know Bull, you wouldn't have done that. But you don't. You guys don't know Bull, bro. You guys don't know my, my thing. Yeah. Michael Keane to get a thingy. Yeah, I don't know. I but um, well, well, we also have we also have an SDS league for Science. you guys. We also have an SDS league for you guys. I think there's like almost 20,000 people in that league now. Where's so in that? feel free to Shall join. Shall I show you? Where uh, I am on that one? He'll be in a good position. Probably like top 300. Um, we've got, don't uh, ever say that. At least put top 100 or something. You're not top 100, bro. Find it. You haven't got 600 points. Not top, not top 100. You can check. But go on, tell me now. You're not top 100. Negative. Where is he? 102nd. So you're not top 100. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? You're not 7,000. Where are you? 7,000. You're not top 100. 102. No one in SDS. I'm 522nd. Come on. 
557. Yeah, but. I'm 957. Oh, I can't even see. I, I, I don't know. even look at it. No, that's not possible. Is that an SDS league? Mm. Where are you? How you 900? I can't be above you. You're above me. It says I'm 957. <laughs> <laughs> you lot are the cover, man. I'm come 102, you man. Because you said you got more points than me. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this is 957. Look what these man study, bro. Phil, till 122nd. So now means I've got more points than you. How's that possible? I'm on five seven three. Yeah, I'm five six nine. If the league ended today, I'll be champion, fam. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Five, six, nine. Start. Anyways, no, look, Anyways. he don't even have a number. Anyways, there's no number. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Well, I could find Anyways, it. um, <laughs> he don't have a number. Forget that you're 100 second, we're in the five hundreds. But let me shout out the top ten because you're proud of being in the top hundred, which is very good because it's like twenty thousand in there. The top ten. Imagine how good they're doing. And this guy, Joshua Robinson, new Steeler. This guy's been He's still there. He's How many there. points you got? He's still there, 639. But the top three all have that because he's also a joint of 639 with Joe Jelly called Sterling Duel and Joe, Joey Leung, uh, White Rice Only, apparently. They all have 639 points. Um, in fourth place, <laughs> in fourth place, Victor Moses Lawn. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I like that. Victor Moses Lawn, 634. Gangsters Allardyce. <laughs> Uh, with 633, Kingdom Buemo, uh, with 632. I've got someone with that name in my league. Is it? Yeah. Uh, w, someone's called by Nissi Ribeiro, 631 and 7. RK, in 629 points with 8th. McAllister, Mac, Mac Alistair and Cheese is still in the top 10. And uh, Sen Nunes. <laughs> and Can <laughs> <laughs> Nunes. Sen Nunes. Sen Nunes. And uh, Can <laughs> Cancel. Cancelo, cancelo culture. Cancelo oh, culture. Yeah. I'm surprised you never made that one. That's a league. That's a my, one, my, my name is amazing. Oh, His name is, I'm your name is Stansfield Uni What the hell? That, that sounds mean? like Luton Stadium. They say this is a big rich town. Yeah, boring, man. Boring, bro. Yeah. But yeah, that I've is top Tariq 10. I've got St. Patrick. That is the top 10 on um, FPL and SS League. You feel free to join in uh, the, the code in the description. Actually, I need your to points join will add on, so you, won't, you know what I'm behind. <laughs> Don't worry. You can, you'll get placed exactly where you deserve to be placed. Uh, feel free to join. I want to end the season on like 50,000 people in this league. That'd be crazy. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was Premier League Roundup uh, for this week. We'll see you guys soon, midweek maybe, for a, another episode. And I'll see you. The next time we Bye. see you guys will be after locked in, man. Oh, uh, yeah. They're not going to see you till after locked in. So yeah, yeah. make sure you watch them. Bye.